All right. <laughs> so uh, I'm not sure where it starts off for you, but um, maybe some of you got to see a Jocelyn adjusting her shirt there for a bit. So that's nice. Good mm. evening, everyone, or morning, depending. Hey there, on fellow where you travelers. Are. Tell, hello. Well, that's more my line. You're that's more your happy traveler. Thing. How are y'all? Um, good evening, and welcome to Walter's World, Walter's crazy quarantine world. That's right. Yeah. We know we're all enjoying our time together. <laughs> we're um, on day twelve. Did mm -hmm. you post the blog for today? I posted today's blog. So if you want to go see Jocelyn, if you go to WaltersWorld.com. And um, Jocelyn's making a blog every single day about the stuff we're doing on quarantine. So you can see all the fun that we're having and that all of us are having right now. So, uh, hey, just... Chris Bates, sunny side of coffee. Good to see you. Dima, Babs. Hey, look, my sister's on. Ooh, my fake sister. Ba Babs, on, on. Babs got a glass of Malbec. Very nice. Oh, there Wait. you go. Where's your sister? That one. Oh, Laura. Laura. Ours, yeah. But she's not my actual sister. We're just, we're just, we're just YouTube yeah. sisters. Jose Gomez, good. I'm glad I got to talk. So we decided to get on a little bit early because um, some of our fellow travelers, uh, two o'clock in the morning, it's a bit late. Poor Snore. I hope you're still on, buddy. Hope you haven't fallen asleep Max yet. Max in Minnesota just got their shelter in place. Sugar, we've been doing that for a minute. We're old pros. That's Welcome right. to the club. <laughs> You'll be fine. Make sure you order your stuff. Wash your hands a lot. Social yeah. distance. You'll be okay. I did. Okay, so yesterday. Oh, so sound is low. Oh, sound is low. Fix that, Daddy. Um, there's not much I can do with the sound as well. So someone else had mentioned that before. Um, I've been trying to work on some Chris videos. Bates. I need to I need to get a use my other nicer computer. I think uh, for this because lately our sound's been down here. I hope everybody's doing good. Henry Martinez, Hi, is our Henry. sound okay for you, Henry? Antonio Trejo Diaz. Chris Bates see. works with fifty hoteliers. He said it's beer time. I can yeah. imagine. Hey, that I that's hope you're doing thing. okay, big man. Yeah. Trujillo, good to see you, Shelby. Oh, oh Shelby's got to work tonight. Shelby, this one's for you. Dylan, I'm so glad that we have helped inspire you to travel. Thanks for yeah. joining in um, in the conversation. Oh, in Cyprus. Hey, in Cyprus and Curitiba. Nice. Curitiba? Yeah, yeah there's a Curitiba. Cool. Where to go? Very cool. Cyprus, very nice. Uh, one of, Lee, one of Caleb's fine, taekwondo instructors is from Curitiba. Yeah. Was. Like, yeah. He lives in Texas now, but yeah. anyway. Sounds great. Okay, Max, yeah. good to hear Charlie Baker. Good to hear good. you. Good to see you. Hi, Mark. Snore. Good to see you. Get us up here. Mark and Terry are on. Mark, thanks. Give Terry my love because she's awesome. They're, uh, Terry, Mark and Terry are doing some good stuff. They've been playing their instruments and music with their kids and stuff like that to, to get things going, so it's really nice to see. Um, Babs are oh, videos for work. So videos for work. So as all of you, I'm sure are starting to work from home. I too, am working from home. So this week to help my students kind of adjust, I just sent them YouTube videos and stuff. And then we had some live feeds. Of course, students were on there going, wait, we're not going over material. You just want to talk to us. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> they like, went offline. So it was nice to answer some questions from people. Jo Jocelyn, I'm sorry. you have I to learn how to do the double touch. hand. Moving up and down. Sorry. Jocelyn's trying to play with the, the feed there to, to see other people's stuff. Cordy, what's up? Cameron, sleeping from Canada. Uh, we got to get back on? there, man. Hey. No, it's a different camera. Oh, it's a different camera, yeah. but you're sleepy. Okay. Um, Somebody asked what we're drinking. Mark is having beer, and he's so got a whiskey on the side. pills, which is fun because you pop it open and stuff like that. But because one of our fans is from right by the Glenlivet uh, Distillery, Thanks. I can speak. Uh, <laughs> I thought we have some glid of it. A very, a very, very. See, I have, I have fat fingers, so that's only that's only two fingers, right? That's only two fingers. There you go. So that's only two of my fingers. See, there you go. So it's all good. And actually, you have the ice, so it doesn't even count like that. It's true. Like one in a bit. That's true. Yeah. So um, where I've I'm, seen. A, oh, sorry. Go. What well, are you drinking? I'm today? I'm having it, today is Greek Independence Day. Opa. Um, so to me, Greece smells like chamomile tea with honey and raki. Raki is like the, um, it's like grappa. It's, it's the, what do you call that? Moonshine. But instead of <laughs> making it from grains, they make it from after the, after they press the grapes, it's from that. Um, and it's really wonderful. And so that's what I'm having in my Christmas mug from Donna. Donna, if you're there, thanks. Love you. And Francisco, Francisco, I'm sorry I called you Antonio. My bad. So, um, there, there's one thing. It's five o'clock somewhere. That's right, Steve. It really is. And and today we're going for all positive vibes today. It could be the fact that we've had a few. Well, we've had, had a, a few. Had a few. But you I've know had what? One drink. 
Like someone's like, where is it? It's five o'clock somewhere. Hey, it's after five o'clock here. So mm -hmm. mm. that's it. So um, Cordy asked us where we're going when this is all over. Well, we've had to cancel a bunch of stuff. So so it depends when we can travel again because we have yeah. stuff lined up for May, June, August, September, October, November. So we have it depends when we can go again, um, and we'll be going. Because we want to show, like, when it's safe to go, we want people to know it's safe to go. So we yeah. want to go places and show. Because that's one of the things we always try to do, like going to Rwanda, Nicaragua, El Salvador. Places that people are like, well, I don't know if I can go there. I'm like, it's okay to go. We like to show people those things. Um, so we try to get there. So we want to make sure we're getting out there. So I'm sure Italy would be one of the first places we go to uh, to show it's okay to get back. Um, uh, like, I, like a lot of you know, I'm supposed to be the best man at a wedding. And they just wrote, and they're going to have to... Maybe move back their change wedding, the date. change a the date. They're like, but we'll pay to change your tickets. I'm like, dude, you're not paying for anything. We're we're, we're coming oh no matter gosh. what. I did not. I'm not missing my best friend's <laughs> wedding. I missed one of my really great friends' weddings, and I still feel bad about it. And I'm not going to miss another one. So uh, so no matter what it takes, I'm going to be there for him. Um, yeah. So uh, so some good stuff. So Zach Kennedy was asking, where are you posting videos about marketing? So if you go to Professor Walters, you'll see a bunch of marketing videos there. Um, so for those of you who don't know, my day job, I'm a marketing professor. Should be, and we've actually moved all classes online. Beer burps? So yeah, beer burps. That's why I went to whiskey, so I don't have the burps. Um, <laughs> this is gonna, if we do a two hour one, this is gonna get crazy towards the end. <laughs> um, and so I've been making videos for a long time, even when I used to teach in Portugal, because I did my PhD in Portugal. I used to make videos to help my students study for like exams, the main topics. And so over the years, I've kind of like made more and more and more. And so, about a year and a half ago, I made the Professor Walters channel and I started putting videos on there uh, to help more students. And then, I mean, I have an 8 a.m. class on Tuesdays and Thursdays and a lot of uh, a lot of students sometimes are a little tired and stuff like that. And I know it's tough. And so I'm not, I mean, I do my best to be loud and obnoxious and fun at 8 a.m., but it's still 8 a.m. and they're like, you know, 20, 22 years old. You're tired, you got stuff going on. So I'd like to make the videos to help them study anytime. So you can actually watch those videos on our Professor Walters channel. Um, and been right, diligently making, yeah, diligently more. making those because now they've since we went all online, I had to make all the videos for the rest of the semester for one class. Then I have a second class that they have, um, yeah, I have zero videos made and I have to make all the new slides because I have to change it because it's online. And so next week will be me filming probably a hundred to 150 marketing videos. Um, so that'll be that'll be fun, but. Good news, for those who didn't notice, we put out a uh, Toilets in Japan video because we wanted to have some happiness today. Oh, so, it was so my lovely. My first, time, my first time on a Japanese toilet and Jocelyn would not let me put the video out. We went there two years ago. She's like, you cannot put that out. I'm like, but, but I have, but, but, it's she, but, it, but it, was, it was potty humor and I think we all needed a little potty humor. So I put that out and uh, so there's a little bit of happiness there. So Dylan Myers, thank you very much for the Thanks super for chat. The vodka have on a single you. vodka on you. <laughs> Thank you, I, buddy. I, I appreciate it. I wanted to have um, a vodka earlier. I think I might do that in a little there while. There we go. Alexandra Hernani from Brazil. Muito obrigado, meu amigo. Fica bem lá no sul. Tricolore. Tricolore. Deve ser tricolore. Eu gosto muito do tricolore. É muito importante. Oh, Heather came. Hang on. Heather came home from, from work anxious and stressed out. Um we're in a glass of red wine. You guys yeah, are great. And now she's having red wine. Good for you. you. I'm happy to do that. And this is to all of you because we know everyone's going through some tough times now. Sadly, some people are going through much tough times. People losing family members and stuff like that. And we give a shout out to them. Cheers to them and their families. Um, but we're going to try to keep it positive today uh, to try to help everybody be there. Terry's in the house. Ashley's good there. Ashley says, thanks for the homeschool blog, by the way. Um, Ash was asking about that a couple days ago. What was that? Ashley, because remember I was talking I about the homeschool. It, it says Ashley. Oh, S. Ashley. Thanks for the homeschool blog, by the way. Aw, you're welcome. Um, mm -hmm. You know, homeschooling is um, treacherous. <laughs> yeah, today it was more like, sit down, do your stuff. <laughs> I wrote Liam. Actually, Liam's teacher wrote me this morning and said, how are things going? I said, well, it's nuts here, but we're okay. Um, Liam's actually decided to do um, all of, like, Monday he did all of the classes. On Tuesday, he said, I'm going to do all my math. So he did all the math for the week. It's his today, favorite subject and his best subject. Right. So today, he did all of the reading work. Um, and tomorrow, I don't know what he's going to do. 
But Tomorrow, he's, I think he said history, but I don't know. Yeah, anyway, he's got the history stuff still. So. That's that's kind of the idea, and that that works out really well for him, and I'm happy for yeah. him that you know he's found a different way of doing things, and she's cool. She's like, I don't care. Any work they get done is good right now. Yeah, and so. Caleb's getting his stuff done. Matthew and I had a little headbutting yesterday um, because we didn't have graph paper, and his teacher was very very nice. That if you want to come to school and get some, I'm like, we're we're sheltered in place, so I'm I'm staying home. <laughs> um, so <laughs> I was like, what a time about to have you know printer paper we have like this much left and i'm like ah um so we're gonna we'll be doing a lot of lines lines graphs stuff like that but um tomorrow caleb and i will be having a three-hour math session uh his teacher sent me all the notes so we're doing like the quadratic equations and stuff like that so fun stuff Brittany and alberta i'm gonna be coming up to see you i'm gonna be coming to see y'all y'all that's what i'm gonna do we're gonna be seeing everybody this is crazy um somebody was writing about um your toilet video was funny the toilet video was funny that's nice Sparks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Saber was right. It was a funny video. Thanks. I'm glad I could put a little smile on some people's face. So, Jack Presley, what's the best city in England you've been to for me? Not kind of my hometown. I think so far it's probably Cambridge. I do like Cambridge. I do recommend that if it, somebody wants a great day trip, like if they don't want to go to a city, Hampton Court. But if you want to go to a town or a city that's outside of London, Cambridge is a great place to go. It's really fun. Um, nice like stuff Bath. to do. Bath is a little bit farther away, but Bath's a great town. My yeah, personal yeah, favorite, my favorite town is actually York. And I was supposed to go there earlier this year, but with all the floods, I did not want to be a tourist showing up in a flooded town. I didn't think that was the right thing to do, so I canceled that trip. And then Jocelyn was sick at the time, too. So it was kind of like, a, you know what? It's a sign. We're not going to go. So we have that. You think that middle, at midlife is having an Aperol spritz. Oh! That's awesome. Molto bene. I'm molto so bene. I'm about that. Poor that. <laughs> Dylan Myers. Mark gets, a, gets lippy when he's had a bit to drink. <laughs> Mark does get a little, he gets even more effervescent when he's had a drink or two. Oh, Never. Fortune Cuffy, how can one send you some Caribbean rum? Darling, that oh. is so kind. I don't know that you can, but it's a, um, it's a beautiful that's thing. That's pretty awesome. It's beautiful. Just the thought of that. Oh, oh my high school cry. students, Rachel says, my high school students are obsessed with complaining on Zoom. Oh, it's great. Like, have you seen some of the great things on Zoom where people didn't know they were watching and it records everything? <laughs> they went to the bathroom. Yeah. Here, here, well, actually, here's one thing I think you all should know. So I've done some Zoom interviews with people for my job. And um, what you need to know is if you, once you call into Zoom, you might be in the waiting room. The people that are hosting the video can actually see you. Because I've been to some things where it was an interview and the person like turns it on. They like they turn it on a half an hour early to make sure it's working, and they leave it on and they're like doing stuff. I'm like, we need to we need to stop this, you know. And then we do. And we're like, hey. And so I think everybody should know that once you turn on Zoom, they can see anything and everything. Okay, so have a heads up. But yeah, uh, Adam Adam said that he and his wife have been sheltering for um, a couple of weeks, but they just got one for St. Petersburg, and Tampa is going to do the same soon too. Um, that's interesting. Marcirio. Hola. From Brazil. Yep. Oh, uh, wait. We're, we're, our, our, our thing stuck. So. There's, a, there's oh. one. Def. Def Rep Leopard rules rocks. rocks. Hey, buddy. Good to see you again. Have you ever received brownie points in another country for being an American? I know it makes me sound entitled, but I have before. So what I've seen, it's not about being American. I've gotten brownie points for just being a good tourist and trying. We talk about this a lot. The place we go to in Paris, we go eat. There's a our favorite restaurant. La vache et le cuisinier. Et 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 cuis
We're not going without the kids. Yeah. Um, and another thing is you got to have some places you have to be a certain age to go yeah, for age, safety. Yeah, age limits on it. And the other thing, so I have a friend um, from Savannah, and he went with his mom and dad and his brother, and they got like halfway there, and the, the ship had to turn around because of the weather. They don't get any money back. So like if weather impedes your going, which it easily can going to Antarctica, they, mm. they don't get anything back, which is... Um, so, yeah. it really, so that's why there's some we actually fly it and stuff like that. That's why we want to make sure. So with Liam, I think it needs to be about 12. So that's four, we're about yeah, four we years off. Yeah, years to go. Uh, for that. But I know like Karen and Nate were just there and it would look really cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, a lot of them will go. It's, it's expensive. And we don't do sponsorships or we haven't done sponsorships because most companies don't want to work with us because we're like, we're going to see the good and the bad. So that that's kind of, that that's definitely hurt us, especially looking at it now. But I think it's a better thing because I like being honest and, and making sure everybody's, where are you going? Oh, she's going over there. She's shutting the blinds. So there is that. Fortune Cuffy, any advice on traveling to Italy alone? Okay. Italy alone is fine. You'll meet tons and tons of people when you're there. Um, if you're alone, I kind of recommend going to the smallest towns, like stay in Lucca and then do a day trip to Florence, as opposed to staying in Florence and doing a day trip out to Lucca or something like that. Just because there's so many more tourists there, that, that means when there's more tourists, Mine's there's so more... Bad. It's packed, but also there's more you know, pickpockets and stuff like that. And the pickpockets aren't there now. Believe me, when the tourists come back, they will be back. Like I have my uh, Scams of, of Italy video, and I'm like, well, I'm not going to put it out right now because that would be wrong. But I, I, people need to know that, look, they're going to come back. <laughs> so and you got to be careful. Florence is rough. Like as, yeah. far as, they, as far as going around Italy, I feel like Florence is the place where you encounter the most pickpockets or just panhandlers and whatnot You know that are um, – it, it that's the hardest place. Like Rome has some, but it's not that bad, you yeah. know. So anyway. yeah, Terry Family Johnson's blog is awesome. Thank yes. you, Terry. I'm glad you enjoy it. our neighbor. We saw them out tonight, and she was shouting across the street. I love your blog. Thanks for it. Just <laughs> like what? what? Like you blog, like my what? Blog. Blog. <laughs> yeah. Jose Gomez. Shout out for Brownsville, South Texas. Shout out. I don't have a step too. Oh my gosh. Um, so Ed, do you teach in America or a different country? Right now, I teach in the US. In the summers, I'll, I'll teach abroad. A lot of times like I was supposed to teach in, well, technically I will be teaching in Austria this summer, but it'll be an online class now. Uh, last year I taught in Austria and Italy. Um, I've taught in China. I've taught a lot of places all over Europe. And Brazil. Then I, Brazil. And, but I, I did my PhD in Portugal, so I, I teach all over the place, but my main job's here in the US. So there is that. Yeah. Um, Dave had tickets and everything set to go to the Olympics, oh, but dude. now they're going in 2021. I like the I attitude. like I see I like I like that. I like that like you know what? We're not going to let it hold us down. We're going to go. And that and that's the attitude we all have to have. We just have to be positive because it's I mean right now there's no you know gloom and doom and stuff like that. I mean just turn off the TV, turn off the social media, think positive thoughts. I mean that, that's basically all you can do really right now. Uh, like like Jimmy UK saying, Prince Charles was diagnosed with coronavirus earlier today. Yeah, yeah I mean, we saw that. So there, there, that's why. I mean, we all need to do our parts. Stay home. You know, social distancing. Just go to the store and that's it. If you have the chance to be able to order food and have it dropped off, remember, just let them drop it off your front door and then get it later. Like, then bring it in and make sure you clean it off and stuff like that. I actually saw a really good video from a doctor today um, who was going through some of the steps that we do. Like, we clean everything off. but We wipe everything down um, before we do anything with it and we wipe what we set the food on we wipe that down afterward um yeah we're just being really we're being really cautious but you know we're not we're not freaking out about it either you know um it's like be prudent but don't panic that's, that's what we right. keep saying so so yeah. Selma, Selma, I'm an international student from Canada <laughs> studying in Leeds UK I got COVID-19 and once I got healed I had to leave my apartment and all my belongings and my friends to go to Canada with my family well, I'm very glad that you are doing okay. Uh, that is awesome to hear you recovered and you're back home with your family at this time. Um, a lot of my students, um, so I, so I, where I teach at the University of Illinois, we have a big program in Milan at Bocconi. I've had so many Bocconi students. If they're out there, I love you Bocconi people. I'm going to come teach there one day. Um, and a lot of them ended up going to like, they're like, oh, school's canceled, so we'll go to Austria for the weekend, you know, to go do something. And they shut everything down. And so the students had to fly home from Austria and leave everything in Italy. And they're luckily, I mean, it was really nice. Their landlord actually shipped all their stuff home. Well, that was kind for of them. Fun. I was like, that was really kind. So I'm glad you got home. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you missed out your study abroad stuff, but I'm glad you're okay. And, and that's what's important. 
Oh, Terry and Mark's daughter, April, did a lot of work on volcanoes. Um, we, you know what, Terry, this might be a really cool trip for y'all to take. Um, we Nicaragua. went to Nicaragua, yeah, and they have a live volcano, and you go at sunset, and they only let so many people at a time, and you only get like 20 minutes or whatever, but you can stand at the top of the volca volcano, and you can watch um, the lava flows down below. You can hear you it. You can hear all that, the sound. Yeah, the if sound you look, was a really cool. We thing. have a video like just put like Walter's World Volcano Sound or something because Liam at the time was in kindergarten when we were there and they were doing a volcano chapter and his teacher he wanted his teacher to hear the volcano so I took a video of it for what's her name yeah. Mrs. Mrs. Krupp this yeah. is a teacher there. Um, so in Salma, I'm sorry to hear about your aunt and your grandma. Oh, they got sick. They got they got COVID as well. Oh so, gosh, I'm hope sorry. you're doing okay, Momon. Hamuda, sorry, I'm butchering your name. Come to Toronto, of course, of course. Actually, so I had to cancel my. Well, I had one trip that got canceled for work, and so I was looking for another conference. And I'm like, hey, there's one in Toronto, so I was going to go there, but that got canceled. So it's on my plans to go. I, I might just go by myself for a, for a weekend or something like that, because there because once this is over, the kids will be back in school, and so Josh will be going on trips by herself, and I'll be doing trips on myself, so we can get some more stuff filmed. Uh, so we can put some videos out. Like we have lots of videos we can still put out from our previous trips, but we want to get out there and show people like, look, it's okay to go back. Look at what's here. And so like, cause I know I'll probably hit up Toronto and you'll go, you got your UK trip and a Paris trip. <coughs> so we've got, we got a lot of, oh. we, we got a lot of stuff coming. So we're, we're going to get, we're going to hit hey, the ground running. Um, Babs said that you can find, thank you, Babs. Graf, yeah. You graph paper graph online. Paper online. That's, thank you. I appreciate Thanks, that. Thanks Babs. And thank you, Baz, as a high school teacher, all those teachers that are trying to help yeah, out the family, sending stuff work. out. And I mean, if anything that comes out of this, I think parents will appreciate what teachers do a lot more now that they had to deal with it. One of my favorite um, memes I saw was the, oh, but your child does so nice for me. And it's like the parents yelling like, they don't listen. They're so rude. They don't do what I'm told. And then it's the teacher going, because usually it's the other way around. Like my baby would never do anything wrong. So it was, that was kind of fun. I don't say that. I know my babies. Yeah, like we, we say it's like, look, we understand, <laughs> yeah. So Sam, yeah, York's great. Um, let's see. Doo -doo -doo. Hey, Katie Hale, hope you're doing well. Hey, so if we say hi to you, like, and you've like, I typed like 10 minutes ago, what's going on? Uh, it's because some of the... Um, yeah, we just had a big... Yeah, we had a big... <laughs> it jumps around or pauses or something for a while. Wow. Thing. There's I'm a lot of people. Wow, there's there. a we lot of comments missed. we totally missed. So um, Shoot, we love you. We're sorry. So don't feel bad if you have to like throw in, like put your question in again. Um, Mark is not from England. It's just his favorite. York is his favorite town, not his hometown. <laughs> he did say something like that. And it was... He yeah, sorry. Say that right. Um, Hi, Sharon at Sea Travel. Hope you're doing well. Uh, there's a lot of people making like Terry's making comments about it's I've got a learning curve on zoom right now one of my coworkers really likes using it so what I like be careful if you put like the backgrounds behind you you can't move around a lot because then you disappear into the fake background so uh, be careful with that uh, Alicia oh, which one Liam's you got? got his cup of tea watching some awesome youtubers <laughs> well I got my cup of tea with Reki I got my you cup. I got my cup too. of whiskey. You can always. Spice I should get a tea. cup of whiskey. Who needs a glass? I just need a cup, a mug, a stein. A oh, glass. that's that's it. Last time that last time that happened, my Salute, my old Michael. neighbor and I were playing NHL ninety four oh, in, in two thousand like fourteen. Terrible, y'all. I'm not kidding. It must have been like five in the morning when they actually finally hung up the. Hey, it's NHL ninety four on Sega Genesis. <laughs> Those you know know what I'm talking about. Hey, Scott. Um, so Scott asks, hey, Walter's family, how many languages can you carry on a basic conversation in? <clears throat> English, Spanish, Portuguese, German, basic conversation like Italian and French, French and probably. Italian. You do and then, pretty well in Italian. Yeah, and then Lithuania can be a decent tourist. I think I can still have a little bit there. But it takes some time to get back on there. Life of a weary traveler. Hey, good to see you on here from San Antonio. Hello. Hey, Nick Peterson. Um, let's see. Ahmed, have you ever had Afghan Dubel? No, I've had a lot of Dubel beers, but I've not had that one. So it looks like I have something to look forward to when we get out of this quarantine. Um, Babs, is there any place you would never travel to? I would not go. I, we don't go to war zones. I would not go to North Korea. And I try to avoid flying over war zones just in case because it's a safety thing. They might accidentally. Yeah. You know, Sadly, it's, ha it's happened a few times. So. Yes. Yeah. All right, moving down because we got Gui. Hola, mi amigo. Hi. 
Three color. Can't wait to watch Love and Hates of Ant- right. Antarctica. Me yeah. neither. <laughs> Me neither. It'll be it'll be a little bit, but we'll get there. I'm gonna hate the freaking cold. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, Hunter, would you consider yourself a modern day Clark Griswold? Um, <laughs> let me just let me just show you that. What do you think, buddy? Uh, still got so, a tree up. Last year for Mother's Day. Don't blame Day, her. Don't blame her. No, last year for Mother's Day, um, I they're like, "What do you want for Mother's Day?" I said, "I want the freaking Christmas tree taken down." And I took it down before Mother's Day. Then she's like, "Oh, it's down. It it's so empty there." It was empty for a while, but I don't care. I'm so sick of the Christmas tree. Oh, my God. You better slow your roll, dude. You are going to fall out of that chair. We are not sponsored by Glenn Livid, but if they'd like to sponsor us. Like I said, Uh, we only take sponsorships with companies we actually work with or enjoy in copious amounts. Yeah. So, yes, we're at home. Brian Brian. Radio Reeves asks, are you all at home? Yes, we are at home. Who's answering that? I know. So traveling the world, what is your favorite country in the UK? Um, I would say it's probably Scotland, um, but it's also because my family's from Scotland. So like my mom and I last year, we were in Shetland Islands where some of our family's from, and we got to see our home and stuff like that. I've taken the family to Aberdeen, and we saw the graves and the stuff and everything. So but it, it, I can't, I mean, I'm my people. So Hi, Michael. I hope you're doing well up in Minnesota and things are getting a little bit more back to normal. But now you have shelter in place. So um, I guess ha- have a drink with us. Brian Clank, greetings from fellow Culver's fan. So those of you who don't know, <laughs> I'm a huge Culver's fan to the point that their senior vice president of marketing actually showed up in my class last year to surprise me. And uh, Scoopy, their their mascot, came as well. So uh, yeah, Pretty tight. You know, I'm like my Culver's people. Um, anyway, he had a question too. Yep. Do you use international cell phone plans from the States when you travel in Europe? Actually, yes. So I actually, we have AT&T. So I use the AT&T like $10 a day thing when we go abroad. Um, one of the reasons I do that is because you stay with one number and then if people got to call you from home, they can get a hold of you. Because I used to do it where I'd switch chips. And so if you go to my, if you go on my mom's phone, she's got... Mark UK, Mark Poland, Mark Lithuania, Mark Latvia, Mark Germany, I've Mark got Germany six too, or Mark seven Italy. On my phone too. From yeah, and when we live there, and so it makes it hard to like read top up and stuff like that. So Pain I just do that butt. just just to make life easier. Um, but if you're gonna stay like, let's say you're just gonna go to Italy for like two weeks, if you have an unlocked phone, then it might be a good idea to get that just to save the money. But some <clears> like if you have T-Mobile, they have a really good sir, they have a really good system that doesn't cost too much. Inside Lauren's brain, sister. Oh, I like her. Yeah, I do too. Um, she always has good questions. Um, your coffee with vanilla almond milk. If you can, if you can find it, vanilla oat milk is even better. I'm yeah, not kidding. Milk. I'm like addicted to this stuff because it's, it's creamier. Yeah, it's thicker. It's, Oatly uh, is the best. Silk, no, yeah. Oatly first, then silk, and then what's the one I don't like? There's one it's, that's it's like, in our fridge. I know there's one there. I got, and it's not as good as the others. But silk is really good, and they have. They have one that's like really low sugar too. Um, yeah. Anyway, very. Oh, tasty. Jason Hess says you guys are awesome. Thanks, man. Love these Thank chats. And I'll, I'll be honest, for we us, do too. we do too. <laughs> because it's, it, it, we love each other. You're very our much. Camaraderie right but, now. <laughs> but we like having adult conversation and stuff like that too. Without so. just each other. And, and and that's the thing is one thing I recommend for you all. If you're doing this, you can probably do. You can do Skype. You can do Zoom. You can do all these different things. You can talk to your friends. So we had a we had a drink night with our friends Jeff. So if you ever seen my buddy Jeff, another big guy I travel with, um, we were doing a family you know drink and chat thing the other night, and uh, it was yeah, so good because we so have nice. family dinner with them often. Hi Billy Rubin, and we haven't obviously hey, been Billy. able to have our family dinners, you know, and um, it's kind of sucked, but we did get to have drinks the other oh, night. Oh, Michael Mons on here. Michael. Oh, Michael, I didn't yeah, see him. Michael hey, Mike. You didn't hear me talking to it's because of the Glenn Levitt, Michael. He's just not paying. I was pouring at that time. So um someone was asked about other great towns in the Netherlands. So Netherlands, I actually like Utrecht's really nice, Leiden is really nice, Harlem's really nice, and those are all about twenty minutes outside of Amsterdam. So you can see a lot. And I would actually base in one of those towns and then go into Amsterdam for that to make life easier. Mark Mark said he's hoping that Europe won't be too busy or hot in July. <laughs> It'll so, be hot, honey. It, it, well, I don't know about the busy. It won't be super it'll hot. Be hot. It'll be hot, but well, they're no, no, they're from Texas. Uh, Mark, Mark be you'll be fine. <laughs> you'll be fine, my friend. You'll be fine. 
Oh, um, Sharon, thank you. Sharon is an RN at Mayo Clinic, and being in healthcare is tough do. right now. Thank you for being our front line and going to bat for all of us. Yeah, and we're glad we've been telling you people are to stay why home. we're staying home. You are the reason, yeah, because you you're making a big difference. You're helping a lot of people out, and we 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 can tell people to stay home. I know people don't like hearing that. I mean, we've seen the numbers. Our numbers have gone from 150,000 views a day to 20,000 views a day because we're like, stay home, stay home, and people don't want to hear it, but. I think it's important to hear it, and that's why we're doing videos like this, the live feed stuff, to make sure we get some happiness out there too. So thank you for you. That's why we have this up here. I know it's not enough to say thank you to everybody from the RNs, to the, the people at the check people in at the, the hospitals, to the people doing the supply chains, everybody out there, thank you. Thanks. You're all rock, you just are awesome. Um, I wanna, I wanna point this out. Heather says that her family's having Zoom meetings and everyone has to be ready with a joke. Not a good joke, just a joke. <laughs> I love I like that. that. I, I think like that's that. a great idea, and we should just spread the word. Have a joke. Oh, good stuff. So, PJ Julie Shung writes, How have you both grown as people through your travels? I'm sure that by traveling to various countries, you both have encountered things and situations that are different and challenging. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. I know I know. for me, it really has opened my eyes for a lot of things. Um, it made me more open yeah. to, to, to people and the situations because... We, we all come from, people are the people everywhere in the world and they're all awesome and we all just need to know that hey you know what we're all trying to feed our families we're all trying to have a good time we're all trying to do these things and it's really nice um that we all can do that and so i really learned that down down deep we're all we're all the same and we need to remember that so yep so henry martinez mark it's funny you mentioned karen and nate i just watched their videos on antarctica those kids are amazing. They've done a lot in just four years, a lot more than all the YouTubers that I subscribe to. Yeah, I mean, they, they're they going... They went on a crazy mad trip. Yeah, I mean, they were going for 100 countries as soon as possible. Um, so they're going all over. We don't do that. Like, we're going to see friends. We're going to experience the culture and stuff like that so we can get we, people... We like to take our time. Yeah, we like to take our time so then we can give advice for people that are going to go there and say, hey, here's what you should really do versus just running through. Um, but they have done a ton of stuff. I mean, they I, I give them credit. They... they or go, go, go. Um, but, I mean, I have a day job. We, need we this, got kids. We got dude. kids. And, and <laughs> I have this thing that we need. It's called insurance. So it's a little bit different. But I, 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 I salute them for all their travels. It's really cool. <clears throat> um, Cheryl Elliott says, have you thought about being tour guides? LOL. No, we're not going to be tour guides. That well, is actually, not our thing. actually, I am once, a, once a year. Oh, we Because I take, I take, so I take okay. my college students once a year. I try to do a study abroad trip. And so it's kind of, it, it's a different kind of stuff. It's tour guide kind of stuff because sometimes I'm teaching a class, but I'm like, look, I want you to experience the culture. And so what we'll do is sometimes when I, if I don't do one where I take a class, we just go to learn the culture. I'm like, look, we did one in Spain. We had flamenco dancing lessons. We went to a winery. We went and learned about the culture, went to a guitar factory. It's like, look, let's talk about some fun stuff because I know some study abroad programs like we go to banks from six in the morning till 10 o'clock at night. I'm like, that's not learning about culture. So that's one of the things we want to do. And maybe one day we'll do something, but right now we don't. Cheryl also says Iceland looks awesome, but I can't drive a manual. You don't have to drive a manual. It you just can pay up. It costs more to get um, to get an automatic, but you can do it with an automatic. Um, I don't know. I preferred having um, a stick so that I could so I could deal with like um, downshifting and stuff when I needed a little extra power in the mountains. But you don't have to go through the mountains like we did. <laughs> we did. Yeah, some no, we, we, yeah. So yeah, it was crazy. Yeah. So Oscar one four zero three. What figures do you have there? Spider Man, Ninja Turtles. Okay, so we got Charizard, we got Ninja Turtles, we got Spider Man, we got a bunch of Venom things. There's He Man over there. So what I've done. Just you see what I deal with? Can't get. Can't even like try to answer questions. Mister Means to Travel says, "Be careful! I overserved at our happy hour live chat." last week so oh hush now you were fine hush um no so what i've done so up here so since i have to film all these videos for my students i had like i think eight or nine videos left to finish off the semester's videos for one of my classes and usually what i'll do is when we travel i'll film our travel videos but also i'll film a few business videos so if you go to professor walter's channel you'll see where it's like oh i'm here in el salvador i'm here in paris and stuff like that and so usually I, I travel to a better location because standing in front of a blackboard or a whiteboard is kind of boring. But now that we're stuck in, you know, shelter in place, I'm like, I got to do something. So these were kind of like Easter eggs. So like each video, there's a different scene. It's so like one scene is like Spider-Man and his buddies like running away from all the Venoms, the bad guys. And then the next one's them beating them up. And so I would change it every time. Jocelyn's very proud of me for doing that. 
Right. Yes, I love it. It's so much fun for me. Um, Gray Curl, have you been to Asia? If so, what's your favorite location? Thus far, we've really only been to China, which we spent a summer um, in, Seven in China. Weeks? Seven or eight weeks. Um, and then we also went to Japan last year or the year before? Um, Maybe last like year and a half. Yeah, so um, that was really, both were really great. Um, just totally different cultures. Um, I, I don't know that I can pick one because I've only been to two countries in Asia and I have a lot more to go. Um, what are fashion trends for men in Amsterdam, if you guys happen to know? So last time we were there, we were there this summer. Um, I'm not the person to talk about fashion. Well, I don't know, skinny pants for men. Um, I don't know, a couple, the guy that cut my hair had really short, he had not really short shorts, but they were shorts and they were like kind of rolled up, like mid-thigh almost. Um, light t-shirts, but nice t-shirts, not junky ones. Yeah, Amsterdam, well, the Netherlands in general is much more of a relaxed. I mean, I would feel it's, it's close, like, it's definitely closer to U.S. fashion than, like, Spain or Portugal or Italy. Yeah, and, and like, shoes, like, Thanks, Leo. like, bands are good. Um, Converse, that kind of flat bottom, like, tennis shoe sort of thing, but it's not, like, a running shoe. Um, I'm done. I was answering a question. Um, Yuma, Arizona. You've probably been to Yuma. Or no? Yeah, but I was little. I haven't been there in about a million years. (laughs) Mark says he feels like the DD right now. Yes, do I. So I think we all should give a clap to Mark Finley. He's, he's, I think, one of our few... um, Mark and Michael's on too. Michael's on there too? Okay, yeah. so because we have what are called moderators that help because this way we can really focus on you instead of having to like knock off people that are saying not, naughty things and stuff like that. So we appreciate it. Thank you, Mark. Though it could be Terry that's doing that. Hmm, I don't know. But random tree. My grandma was a very superstitious Welsh woman. She always took the Christmas tree down before New Year's Eve because she didn't want to be cursed or something like that. So there's a lot of places in the world that have a lot of super. Why are you looking at me? Because I want the tree down. You're not Welsh. You're great. It's past St. Patrick's Day. I am lighting the world. I'm showing happiness and brightness. I love you too. So it's funny. Actually, um, a few years ago, we started putting out a few videos on superstitions in the U.S., in Ireland, Lithuania. I think I got one in Spain too. And I thought they'd be more popular because that's when Travel Channel went all on to like ghost hunter stuff. And I'm like, oh. Well, I guess travel people like ghost hunting or, or superstitions. No one ever watched them, but we do have some on there. So you'll be surprised how many people really take superstitions seriously. Like Lithuania, if like you walk and there's a pole here and you like split with your friends, people will drag you around the other side because it'll cut your friendship in half. So, so I understand. Are, they've got some crazy superstitions. Oh, yeah, they were fun. awesome. I used to, so I, I, I speak at Rotary clubs and libraries and stuff like that. And so my old routine for um rotary clubs used to be just talking about superstitions around the world and i probably half of it was about my time living in lithuania so it's pretty fun albert chuck chuck i agree aberdeen is a shut your mouth (laughs) aberdeen is really pretty i like i think aberdeen's a really cool town too um all right so oh the old cemetery um that's where my family's buried actually baton rouge hey we actually looked at LSU um, a few years ago about possibly that. So, hey. <laughs> Charlie Baker. The amount of whiskey. I should not read that. It'll just encourage him, Charlie. Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Michael Mon, I hear you, Mark Bailey. I seem to have three basic functions. I drive, I play, and I carry. Nice. <laughs> I Oh, Love you, come Michael. on. Stop that. You entertain us. Oh, and hey. You're a good friend. Our buddy in Riga, V Stores. Hope you're doing well from Riga Lafia. Well, from Bergen, Norway, I'm stuck here because of Corona. I'm oh, drinking no. it now. I'm glad. And so for those of you that were like, oh, no one's drinking Corona beer because of the coronavirus, that was actually debunked. That was bad mark or bad um, methodology. Um, it's actually something I'll be talking about in my marketing class next semester because we've already gone by its marketing research, so I won't talk about this. Well, maybe I will. Um, it's how you can just you know use a, one study, and you're like, wait a minute. What did they do in that study? They asked five people, so it's kind of funny. Um, hi, Bruce. I'm glad to see you here tonight. Um, oh, Bruce is on. Robert oh. says hi from Wisconsin, and he just went to Alabama last month. It was his first time. Isn't Alabama lovely? Like, such, just, such nice roads. How are they in Wisconsin? Do you guys have the, the bad roads? Like, we I do bet they're more? they're like cheese, like Swiss cheese. Ours are anyway. <laughs> yeah, no, um, our, no, ours are like 
Ours are worse than Swiss cheese. I mean, it's just, it's like offering. Ours, so ours are like Belgium after the First World War. Not um, good. And Robert says we have to go to Michigan and eat Mackinac Island fudge. Mm. Yes. I so one of my good that. friends, she actually worked there for the summer and went up a visit with my mom back in the day. Um, let's see. Oh, <clears throat> inside Lawrenceburg, I'm starting a weekly vlog today, doing a lot better than last week. Adjusting the new normal. Thank yeah. you for your awesome content. You're really welcome. I'm glad we can help and, and good luck. I know it's tough. Um, we have a lot of videos on our Professor Walter's channel about helping people start their own blogs. And I put out a video today, really bad lighting, on Professor Walter's about videos that people want to see um, and, and business videos. And a lot of people actually were asking, they wrote me personally, like, could you give us a blueprint, how to start a channel, how to do stuff like that? So once we get through the big, um, once we get through the fact that I have to make a hundred and some odd videos for my social media marketing class, yeah. then I'll be getting onto those things. So we'll have some stuff um, there. Hang on, I want to. It... Um, this is for me. Oh, Mr. Memes. For yeah, he says oat milk is much higher in carbs versus almond milk. Okay, so here's why I I ha I track my macros, and I have a really hard time me made meeting my carb. Um, yep, I'm, I'm I do drinking. 45 percent carb, um, twenty five percent protein, thirty percent fat. Um, unless I'm on, and I do two low carb days a week. Um, so I have a really hard time meeting my carbs. So I'm eating it with this. So Jeffrey Bloom. So your super chat just came through, buddy. Super oh. chat to make Mark drink the whole bottle. Oh God. Jeffrey, <laughs> we are not friends. <laughs> Do you know what he'll snore like if he drinks the whole bottle? That's why we have a guest room in the basement. Moving on. Da, 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 da. Oh my! Brian's Rate Reviews. Have y'all ever met Carrie? Not Carrie. Nate? No, I've never met them. I've never talked to them, so I I, I don't know them. Um, actually, it's funny because I've reached out to a lot of other travel bloggers. I've never reached out to them, but other ones, and, and everyone always blows us off. It's kind of funny. The only people that like, <laughs> people like, do blow they us blow us off all the time. Like you want to do like, something? Yeah, but no, y'all are old and yeah, nerdy. You're, you're old and you're you're you're, you're uh, one of like oh you're the OG, and I'm like yeah, like you'll do something like no. You you make me look old. No. I'm like I'm like I'm just trying to help people. And Whatever. what's funny is actually if you put our, us next to him, they'd look even younger. I know. <laughs> uh, the thing is, it's funny. Is actually our biggest our our new like our biggest group now is 19 to 29. Really? Yeah, 19 to 29 year old males. It's, I know it's kind of crazy. Um, Cameron, welcome. I'm glad you're here. You were at another Zoom party. That's awesome. <laughs> nice. Tell your other party we said hey. Hey, Robert James. Hope you're doing well. Jim Schaefer, will Corona be over in July? I don't know. I'm not a doctor. We're not. We can't say. Not a scientist. Oh, I know. Which I could tell you it would be over tomorrow. We, we got yeah. We got we got trips for May and June, and I'm not super hopeful. I have a trip in August that I'm maybe September. That's when you go to England, and I do New York. And I go to Paris. What you go to Paris in October though? I go oh, to it Paris is? after we go to. I Ireland. don't know and. I don't know. They're all they're all gonna run together, and I may have to cancel one leg and meet you in Dublin. Well, I'll talk to our friends at Delta, see if they can do. It. I don't know what's gonna happen in a minute, but it's yeah. gonna be crazy. So, Jack Pressy, what are the things you should do in the Bahamas? Oh, so not do in the Bahamas. So, the Bahamas are. It can kind of go if you watch our video on the Don'ts of Caribbean. That will really help you, because yeah. a lot of the islands have kind of the same similar kind of stuff. Um, as far as do's and don'ts. Do's and they don'ts. have their own cultures. Yeah. Because the food will be totally different and stuff like that. One thing I would say is any kind of like bug spray, sunblock, things like anything you can take with you there will save you a ton of cash. Because what's five bucks at Walgreens will be like 15 to 20 bucks at their store. Um, I know like when we went to Turks and Caicos, I was like, holy crud, that's expensive. That was one of the most expensive and we went I for mean, like five days, and I'm like, it was like going to Switzerland. I'm like, wow, it, we, yeah. we could we could have done a lot more, but it was really nice to go because it was just two of us. It was but. amazing, but whoosh, well, I'm glad we had an apartment with a kitchen. Yeah, Eric L. Oh dang it, I'm glad you like the live feeds. Thank you. Is Mark a Je dreamer? You think? <laughs> <laughs> Hi Jennifer, hope you're doing good. <laughs> See. Bruce Demon agrees. Leave the Christmas tree up and decorate it with Easter eggs. So there's that. Oh, wait. We just got another super chat from Henry. There we go. Mark, thank you very much, Henry. We really appreciate the super chat. It does make a difference. Uh, for those of you who know, we uh, last year when we I was studying while I was teaching in Austria, my camera broke. And we actually, from our members and our patrons, the money we got from that, I got to get a new camera. 
to make the videos. So the support does help. So if you're interested, you can go to patreon.com slash Walter's World, or you can be a member on, on YouTube and click the, the join button down below. And we can do stuff like that. Anyway, Mark and Jocelyn, are you guys into, or were oh, right. into, pro wrestling like WWE, WWF? It's always going to be WWF to me. Uh, I'm also a Gen Xer and grew up watching Hulk Hogan and Ric Flair. They're still <laughs> wrestling, but with no fans, of course. Oh, they have fans. Oh, yeah, they are. That's right. There's no fans of this I think things. we all watched that. Like, was it Saturday morning that we Yeah, I mean, I remember, watch watching, the, the I remember watching the cartoons afternoon. on Saturday mornings. Oh, yeah. Well, you'd have Tuesday Night Titans, and then on USA, they'd have that. I remember watching that. I thought, totally, when I was a kid, I thought, totally thought it was real. Like, what's funny is our kids, <laughs> Didn't we all our think kids, it was real? our kids never really watch wrestling, but they do all the wrestling moves. So I'm like, you must get it from somewhere. Well, we took Caleb, one of his buddies. Um, well, I didn't go for that. You guys. Yeah, remember. you were out of town. One of his buddies is really into wrestling, and his, like his dad's in it. Oh, was that Gen again? Xer. Yeah. Yeah. And um, they, they, a bunch of us all went. All the Taekwondo kids. Hi, went. Francis. And it was it was a riot. They had such a good time. Hang on just a second. There was something there I wanted to. Oh, gallivanting gals are here. Hi, y'all. Oh, um, hey. Indie roads are terrible. Oh, oh, hell no. You got oh, nothing you, on us. <laughs> we go to Indie and we're like, oh, don't know it's what you got. Yeah, we go over there. I'm like, my God, they prepared the city. They got a nice ring road. It's flat. You have exits. Yeah, it's pretty. Cool. Oh man, I, I was. Ugh. Yeah, we're you're pretty- lucky. You're lucky. Granted, you can't go outside now, but you're lucky. Um, um, is Downstate Illinois worth visiting? I'm based in Chicago, I'm usually consulting. You know what? Springfield's got the – I love – okay, there's all the Lincoln sites, and there's – um, what, what? what's the town that he was – Quincy? The, no, Springfield. Stop it. The town with the his home. New Salem. New Salem. That, I'm sorry. But I love the Lincoln Library. I think it's like one of the that best is, presidential libraries. That is one of the best it's, presidential it's libraries out there. It's just incredible. Especially you're... on somebody that's that far back. But he was so instrumental in our history. And it's they just do a really good job yeah. of handling um, the Civil War and all of these things. And it, it's, it's not it's preachy brilliant. or anything like that. It's it's not it's very it's, fact based, and they have a but good. But it's right. Yeah, it, it's it's how it should be done. Like that's worth it. It's and you good. can come down from Chicago on the train for the day and, and do oh, that. Yeah. And there's some smaller train towns. Will be late though. Yeah, yeah you it'll be Amtrak late. I know. Well, Amtrak's lost ninety two percent of its things, which is sad because I have the don'ts of Amtrak, and I'm like, well, I can't put it out now. But I will be putting out, oh, just so you know, I'm going to start putting out travel videos again, or we're going to start putting out travel videos again, because now that we've, like, people know to stay home, I think it's time for us to put out stuff so people have something else to watch versus, like, bad news. So we're going to do One that. of the Mary Ellen's is on. Oh, hey, Mary Ellen. Oh, that's that's the Shaw. That's not the, the your buddy, the your other, Mary, your, the other Mary, Mary Ellen was on was last, on. the other night. Yeah. Um, okay. Mark and Jocelyn. Good to have you don't touch your mouth. I don't go outside. I might shave my beard so I stop doing this. So don't worry, Mary. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. <laughs> means to travel. Thank you for doing this. Hey, means to travel. I'm glad. And Mrs. Means to travel. I'm glad y'all could be there. Thank you for um, all the good stuff. We are supposed to go up to Michigan mm-hmm. with some friends of ours. Liam's best friend. Their family. Great, great, grumpity grumps. I don't know. Somebody owns a cabin up there. And we're supposed to go up at some point this summer for like a long weekend or something. And. Um, do some paddle boarding and things like that. It was just, I just tipped it. You Tip. know what? I was a bartender. I'll pour for you and teach you what a pour is. Well, that's why people would tip me more. Thank you, because I have the heavy Are pour. Are you dumb? I don't know. You really think you heavy have pour? Heavy pour. I think, I think heavy pours get long term. I think heavy pours do better. But it has to taste good, dude. Like, it can be a heavy pour without, like, just being the alcohol. I this mean, it is does whiskey. taste good. It is just whiskey. So. And that is. <sighs> anyway, moving on. Oh, Brian Clifford. Hey, last summer was our first family trip to Ta- Old. <laughs> last summer was our family's first time in old Quebec City. Fell in love. Such a great trip for us, uh, but a world away. I can't wait to return. Yeah, I love Quebec City. When it, when people ask about going to Canada, I always say Quebec City is number one for me. Uh, Prince Edward Island is great. Toronto is great. I don't think Vancouver is – Vancouver is a bit overrated, to be honest. Um, if you're going to go to the Pacific Northwest, I actually suggest going to Seattle first um, over Vancouver and stuff like that. Um, Jim Francis says, is, <laughs> is your – I have one for you. This one's for you, Francis. There you go. Um, Jim asks, 
yes, if your university is closed for the semester, that's not. Yes, it is for the well, whole semester. Well, face to face classes are closed for the semester. We still have online classes. So um, if you go to our Professor Walters channel, you'll see a bunch of videos of me teaching, and I'll be actually having to do some live feeds because I have such a big class that Zoom doesn't do very well. So I'm just going to do live feeds through our Professor Walters. So you'll see those randomly through there. Um, Hidden Masters talk to Yellow Productions. He's a nice that? guy. I like that's a he does travel stuff too. Oh. He's very he seems really nice in his videos. So. I haven't I haven't watched him so. Yeah. Um, well, you you, you skip oh, this back up a way big up. Chunk of stuff. Favorite I'm German sorry. beer, Adam Thensa. To Adam Tenhouse, your super chat never showed up on our thing because we have a different one than what you guys see. So I'm sorry that I didn't get to see your super chat. So favorite German beer. So uh, Weisstefana is my is, is what I like the best. But in terms of Kolsch versus Munich Helles, man, Kolsch, if you go to Cologne. So for those of you who don't know, Kolsch is a beer that's from the Cologne, is from Cologne in Germany, Köln. And it's a short beer. You, it's a 0. 0.2 liter beer. So it's like a small beer. And you'll get like, you can get a meter of it. So it's a meter of just beers lined up. It's a very smooth Pilsner kind of beer, but it's even smoother than Pilsner. Um, so if you like like smooth light beer, like you'd really like Kolsch. Munich Helles, the Helles beers are, oh, they're light beers, but they're not light as in terms of like heaviness. They're light in terms of color. Uh, those are really good. Man, I think for me, Adam, it's going to depend where I'm at. So. Um, oh, there's another one. Lou, Lou. Happy hey. Greek, uh, happy Greek Independence Day, my friend. Would you guys ever do a collab with Drew Bensky? Sure. I don't think he'd ever talk to us because we're so small But uh, compared to him. But, yeah, of course I would. Because we don't always like to work with anybody. It's fine. I know there's some people have reached out to us, and we want to do things. I'm like, let's figure out a way to work. And then I'm like, let's think about some ideas. You bring some ideas. I bring some ideas. And then they disappear. So it's kind of interesting that way. Um, but, yeah, I would definitely do a Drew one. Inside Lauren's brain is going to take the Jeopardy test. Ah, I think that's so cool. Jeopardy. Jeopardy, Jeopardy like, the... To be on the show. Oh, they have a test for that? I had no idea. Yes, there's a test. Cool. You just can show up. You have to be smart. Oh. Uh -huh. I used to do Jeopardy all the time. My Oh, my gosh. One of my dearest friends, Jackie, used to have an absolute fit because she, we used to, our kids are the same age, and I would go over. She'd always want me to come over and help her make dinner, which meant sit on the sofa while I make dinner. She made dinner, and I would have to sit on the sofa Jackie with Jackie made dinner? Jackie cooks like a machine. She used to. Really? When she was a stay-at-home mom, but now oh. she she's oh, she a out. travel nurse. And anyway, oh. so whatever. Um, and I would sit and I would watch Jeopardy and answer all the questions. Then I get really mad when I get them wrong. And she would always make fun of me because I was crazy. Um, and I love Jeopardy. So yay for Inside Lauren's Brain. Yeah. All right. So Nico, Nico, yes, we are live. Um, I'm just trying to uh, scroll through here because we have like 700 post that we didn't get to see so. uh tony Just lewis jump. thank you very much for the kind words my friend is london is four days in london enough time savannah i yeah. think so i definitely think so yeah and it, actually with three days of seeing all this stuff do a day trip to cambridge or hampton court or something like that or go out to bath you'll see there's actually a lot of day trips i'll take you to bath and stonehenge you can do both um but i would go out there hi mark's mom my mom is on here somewhere people so be nice oh hi kath Truly, the louder, the more you drink, the louder you get. Isn't that how it all works for everybody? Notice that my face is getting redder and redder, <clears> or more red and more red. So the family on standby. So family on standby. You can actually go to their YouTube channel, and so they work for an airline, which will remain anonymous, and they go on standby trips all the time. So they had a quite a hard time getting back, getting to and back from Argentina this uh, few oh, months ago. Yeah. But they have some good stuff. So if you work on the airline, if you work for an airline, they can actually be very helpful to give you some ideas of stuff to do, like last minute kind of stuff. So definitely check them out. Um, Brian, Brian call, call, Kale, I'm glad we could help you out with your backpacking, man. Um, Jason says, Mark, I think I remember you um, either saying you play guitar or seeing one in the background of one of your videos. What do you play? So I have an Epiphone Les Paul, um, and then I've got another Epiphone Acoustic, and then downstairs I have a Squire Strat, and then we have a Dean, well, Caleb has a Dean guitar. Mm -hmm. Why are you kicking me? Because you're just wow. being pretentious. Well, no, they're Epiphone. I got the cheap version. I don't have a Gibson. I got that kind of money. Whatever, you sound all pretentious. I have no. this, and I have this. He plays guitar. She plays okay. guitar. They understand. All right. Yeah, it's a special, it's a special bond. Okay. And what's, it's actually funny. So Caleb started running track and so he had to give up his guitar lessons. So I got to take guitar lessons again. So it was nice to play because 
running two, two, two YouTube channels and, and the full-time job. I hadn't got to play for a long time, so it was really nice. So. Um, Megan Morris asks if we've ever done a bourbon tour and we should head to Kentucky when they open back up. Yes. So my buddy Carson, she's down oh, yeah. in Kentucky. She's actually a pharmacist assistant or, or no, pharma tech or something down there. And she has a little travel channel. And I've been like, we got to come down and see that. So we'll go see Carson and do that. Um, so. I did that before Mark and I were a thing. <gasps> um, you, I had I, I had, before. I had no life. I had a life before uh, you. I was worthless until I met you. I, see, the thing is, I don't lie about the life I had before you. I admit that it was there, and it was rich and wonderful, but it is nothing in comparison to the icing you put over that rich and wonderful cake. Oh, you're the best, baby. I know. So, Reggie, my backup whiskey, I've got some uh, Gentleman Jack is like my yeah. kind of go-to. Um, or then we have a Woodford Reserve back there, too. No, we have like this much. You keep saying we have it. I know we do, and I, and I, but I can't find it. It's so maybe like we drink it. It's like two swallows worth. It's not yeah, even but you know late. what? Those are two good swallows. Okay. So. so. All right. Matthew Henning, thank you very much for the super chat. Thank you. It's very nice of you. I thank you all. Or sorry, I thank you for all of your video messages from someone who has a limited travel budget. It really is nice to see the world from a different point of view. Thanks, Matt. We try to do that. Um, I think that's one of the things we're trying to do. One of the things. Because we have a lot of videos that we want to put out, but I, right now it's not. Right now, really wasn't the time to put things out. So we have like first time going to Europe. We've got I have a big one, like a twenty minute long video on budget advice for traveling Europe and around the world. It's basically like rookie budget mistakes people make. So to be, so those things are going to start coming out again in April. Um, we have a, we'll put out we put out the toilet video today. We'll probably put out Kyoto or something like that this week. Get another what to know before you go. Um, but you, you'll get some more of those, buddy. So we hopefully we can help other travelers because we know not everybody has an infinite budget. I know we don't have an infinite budget. No, but um, we don't want you to to waste any of that budget. Yeah, like that's that's kind of the that, point of a, a, a lot of what we do is so that people don't waste their time or their money on it. Yeah, you know, because on messing it up. Exactly, because that's where we went back to when the original stuff is when I got that guidebook that said this town was great and it sucked and it was obviously now that I've had the 10, 15 years of doing this knowledge, I'm like, oh. They got paid to 10, go to that town. Years. Well, no, of making the videos. Oh, of making the and videos. And the vlogs and stuff. It's like now I can look back on it and say, oh, I bet those people got paid for that. And therefore they said that. I'm like, oh, now it makes sense. Like now I can see. I mean, I when I read reviews, you can I can see who got paid and who didn't. So it, Wait. It's, it's like an, it's like travel vloggers and travel vloggers. I can see like, oh, that, that trip was comped, but they don't say hashtag sponsored, which I get upset with. Because that's not fair when they say, you know, like, this is the greatest town in Mexico. I say this example because there's people that did that. And then they are obviously got paid to say that. So, um, Okay, so Gallivanting Gals. Where is Jocelyn from? Georgia, is that right? I went to college in Georgia. And there's another one I want to It's just stop touching things. Just stop touching things. Ah, story of my life. <laughs> story of my life. I love you. Um, okay, well, so uh, Georgia, I, I lived there. The longest place I've lived in one city was in Savannah. Um, but I don't know where I'm from. I moved around a lot, so I don't really have a home. Uh, mostly, I would say Illinois, but I don't really like Illinois. So there's that. Um, okay, Garrett asks what uh, he wants to visit 30 states before he turns 30. I um, want to take some suggestions from you as well as to chat about what states I should go to. So one thing that you can do and hit a lot of states is the Northeast because they're small and you can get to a lot of them. Um, and there's so much American history there. There's there's just a lot to see, some really important places, um, you know, like, I mean, New York, Boston. I mean, there's just tons. So you can get a whole bunch right there. But for, and, and it's a cool trip. I love that. I love, we did the Eastern Seaboard mm -hmm. one year and it was really wonderful. Um, that was a big, long, um, we've done it a couple of years. We did this, it was a big, long road trip and it was awesome. But for me, I love the West. Um, I, I say I grew up, but I spent six, seven years in Arizona, six years well, yeah, you lived there in Arizona while. as a kid. Your sister was born there. <clears throat> yeah, I know that. You say that like I don't know it. You know, because it's it's a mountain in Tucson, and her she's still upset because her sister says it's her mountain because she was born there. But Jess is like, I live here longer. Um. So anywho, uh, Dan Pete. out west um, is a really there's really great you know road trips out there, and you can see a lot. It's just you're not going to get a lot of states. Um. So more bang for your buck would be to like do the East Coast. 
Yeah. Okay. I, I, I agree with you on that one. Moving on. Favorite alcohol-related tourist destination. Okay, so this is one thing. Actually, I, someone was asking, like, what have you seen change in travel over the years? This is one thing I have seen. So back in the day, when you used to do tours of, of uh, wineries or you do tours Are you of, answering Mr. Means to Travel question? Favorite yes. alcohol-related tourist destination? Of I was reading and I didn't hear you. Yes, Mr. Means to Travel writes, favorite alcohol-related tourist destination. Ow! You saw that. Ew, it's slimy! I know. Gross. <laughs> um, so, um, this is one thing I have seen over the years, is back in the day, so I started doing these travel stuff with my brother when I was in college in the late 90s. And back in the day, like, we went to the Beck's Brewery, and it was like my brother and I going by ourselves. And they're like, ah, oh, drink all you want. It was like, drink all you want. Whereas now they've made it more since there's so many tours. Like, no, you get one beer and we give you a souvenir glass or you get two beers and leave and you have to pay for it. And you're like, whoa. Um, Sazerac actually in New Orleans has got a really cool, um, um, uh, like they, there's a corner on Canal and they've, they've it's like four stories of this really fantastic mm -hmm. museum. They've, it's only been opened up about six months. Um, I was there a couple months ago and it was really, really cool. Um, I enjoyed the port wine caves. That oh, was, the port wine caves that really was cool. Fun, um, yeah. in Oporto. and you have to do that when you go to port. Yeah, well, it's in Gaia, but it's port. Like, it's a port Yeah, the river's here. Port is this side of the river. Gaia's the other side of the river. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, it's that. Those are really fun. And we, uh, you know what? That was that was a fun trip. Can I tell that story about what happened in the cave? Is that legal? I'm just gonna tell. We're thinking wrong. No, we're we we do anything wrong. wrong. So we're in the caves, and at the end, you go at the end, and they've got everybody has two little glasses with um a little tiny. Thanks, bit of mom. My mom's here for cat. me. No, she's here for me. It's no, it's you. Says, I'm here me. for you, meaning me, because my mom me. loves me, because I'm her favorite. I'm the only daughter. So <sighs> anyway, um. <laughs> Go on, slabbery mixed. So Robinstein. you get like a little, sh a, a, not a shot, but a little glass of um, of ruby and a little glass of tawny. And so we all went into like this room and we all just sit down and and but we Mark and I stopped to talk to the guide, and Caleb was what like three, and um, we turn hmm. around after talking to them for like two minutes and like we kept <sighs> glancing back at him. He was fine. He was just sitting there, talking to some old people, whatever. And we come over, and he's drank both glasses. They're just empty. And he's like, I like that one better than that one. And we're like, oh, shit. I mean, I can't say that on here. I said, oh, shoot. Um, oh, shucky dog. <laughs> that's it. So anyway, that was that's my that's my favorite story. Yep. And so right. and so Alcohol when we travel. got so when we when we left um, Portugal, we actually bought uh, port wine for Caleb. So when he graduates high school, he can have some port wine. That we got from when he was a kid. When he's 21. Yeah, when he's 21. When he graduates high school at 21. 21? 21? Mm -hmm. uh, excuse me. Thank you, Kathy Walters, for being supportive of your son. Um, oh, Brian, boy, don't turn on the TV, honey. Don't Just don't turn on the TV for a few days. Just take a step yeah, back. Yeah. Enjoy some old travel videos. Read funny blogs. Yeah, those things. That, that's what don't you need to do. Don't read any news. Just, just stay away from it for a little yeah. while. Clark Travis, thank you very much for the super chat. It makes a big difference, and it does mean the world to us. I know it sounds like a pun, but it, it really does, so thank you for that. Uh, Jocelyn, since you dislike <laughs> Illinois, if you could live anywhere in the U.S., where would you live? By the way, Kentucky is so much better than Illinois. <laughs> Kentucky is a lovely state. Um, I would choose Savannah, Georgia, number one. Um, I would put Tucson in there, Tucson, Arizona in the running. Um Mystic Seaport I, or Mystic Connecticut. I love Mystic and, and the surrounding area, but I can only do that in the summer. Um, Kentucky and Tennessee, like I like that area where it's nice and hilly and green oh. and things. And they've got, but I want to be honest, I want either mountains or or water. Um, I want one of those oh. two things. That would be kind of ideal. Kentucky if I can Lake, them. which is no longer a dry county anymore. Yeah. Oh, Good to you see. remember that trip? Yeah. Yeah. So we were we went to Kentucky <laughs> Lake. This is when we first now went back to the US. Now y'all are gonna think we are the worst parents ever. Yeah. Well, no. This is just we were in Kentucky Lake. So this is when I think it was like 2000 summer of 2012. Mm-hmm. And so we yeah Cause 2000 he was a year old. yeah because we had moved back to the US and. We went to Kentucky Lake with some friends of ours, and it was—it's nice because it's like the people, like 
the the wife of the couple her and i were best friends as kids and our families vacation together so we kind of con we've continued the song we still go on vacation with them every so often uh Susie and brad and so we're like oh we'll go down to kentucky lake and so we go to kentucky lake it's a dry county so we knew to bring stuff and so we got these little cabins on kentucky lake and somehow when we were going in and out of the cabin, someone hit the lock button. I'm guessing it was it, probably Kayla. It's an auto, it was one of those auto lock things, wasn't yeah, it? Was where it? it like, yeah. Yeah, any, anyway, so Liam was locked was into sleeping. his car seat no, sleeping. No, he wasn't. He was in bed. He wasn't in his car seat. He was in the, he was in the crib. He was in the crib? Okay. The, the pop-up well, pop, crib the thing, whatever that pack is. Pack and play. Yeah. Anyway, he was, he was fine. But anyway, so we got locked out of the house. And they're like, oh, well, I'm like, wait, I'm sure there's another thing. We'll go to the office. The office was closed. They have, oh, well, here's the emergency number to call. We call the number for the manager. No one answers. So then we do the searching. And, and we, we start panicking. Yeah, then we're like, I'm like, we've got 911 to get in there. We're like, or maybe we break the window to go in. We called the locksmiths. Backside. We tried to get a locksmith. And but they, they said they couldn't do it because... We don't know. We're not a manager or yeah. whatever. They're like, well, I and can't so, really do that. And somehow, and this is in Kentucky, so somehow we got. I got the phone number, and we so called the owner. the owner who lives in Oregon. Yeah. And so they, there's, I'm talking. I called this number. The guy's at a bar with a band playing in Oregon. I'm like, hey, my baby is locked in the thing, and I get like, wait, the manager's not in. I'm like, no, no one's answering. He's like, okay. Go underneath. He's like, go underneath and like, here's a code. And there's a super secret hiding place for a key. So we got in that way, and we got in. I'm like, thanks, man, I appreciate it. So we got and in. And he so. was sound asleep, and everything yeah, he was, was still fine. asleep. I mean, this 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 whole thing was probably like 30 minutes. <clears throat> anyway, so yeah, okay. Oh, S Mark so Finley. Sorry, Clark. That was a long. I don't know if that actually <laughs> answered your question. Mark Finley has been to the Bluebell ice cream place. I went to the Ben and Jerry's one with my mom a couple years ago. It, it was a pretty cool thing. I bet I bet that one's amazing too so inside lauren's brain so my mom who's on here she loves portland um she, i'm sure she'd want to go with me if we're ever there oh so clark's actually from near kentucky lake marshall county is now wet there you go Thank we goodness. heard that and, and Mo is it was it mothers no it was a grandma what was the place we had the mothers. huge plot mothers that burned down and then they built it up again so i'm glad it's back Oh, Nicole is going to U of A in the fall. Awesome. Very cool. Go Cats. It's a cool. And actually, if you see a Professor Fricky there, he was a colleague of mine at the University of Illinois. He is now at the University of Arizona teaching management and stuff. So if you see him, tell him his buddy Mark Walter says hi. Hi, Michael. Oh, Michael Mon, my brother, lived in Milwaukee back in the day when all the breweries were up and running. Every time someone came to visit, we did a tour and sampling. That sounds like fun. Wait, Michael, how does your liver still work? <laughs> Because <laughs> back in the day, hands cool blue waters. Oh. Um, so many good stuff. Hang on. Oh, say? Brad Boyd is undergrad at U of A as well. Cool. Um, Herman, watching from Hawaii. Hey. Oh, hey. Good morning. No, it's not that far back, is it? <laughs> it's eight like, hours? Right, it's no. noon. It's Hawaii. It's like Hawaii, four isn't hours it six back. hours? Four. Oh, whatever. So it's like enough okay, work. So, it was a lot so later. So Herman needs to get a drink because it's back. almost five o'clock there. Um, all right, so um, started watching when my fi fiance and I were planning our honey honeymoon trip to Greece. Unfortunately, wedding and thus the honeymoon is postponed. You know what? We were just talking about some friends of ours in Italy who had to postpone theirs a little bit. Um, but you know what? It it's okay to postpone. Um, have the wedding that you want to have, and and it'll be okay. I'm glad that you're yeah. going to have one and just doing it a little later isn't necessarily a bad thing. Like Joss West and I, Virginia is beautiful too. Yeah. Um, Joss and I didn't do our honeymoon until we were married for over 10 years yeah. um, because we just didn't have a chance to do it. So that's what it was. But every day is a honeymoon with her. So. All right. Yeah, that's right. Anyway. Um, <clears throat> Brian Boyd, are you from Tucson or did he just go to U of A? Is that what that U was? Um, yeah. <laughs> 360 days of that. sunshine. Sam FW, my buddy, places to study abroad for Spanish in high school. So um, here's the thing is when you're studying Spanish, there's tons of places you can actually study that. And it doesn't have to just be one year in high school. Um, I think for high school, your best one is Spain, Mexico, Argentina, Chile. Those are probably, or maybe Peru. That would be another good one. Um, if you're in college, I recommend Spain or Argentina, Chile as well. Similar stuff. But if you want to go for like, let's say you just want to go for like a two week intensive class, right? You want to learn Spanish and have a good time. Nicaragua actually has a lot and it's really cheap to be there and you and can it's learn. Very clean Spanish. Yeah. 
Like they don't have a lot of accent. They don't have a lot of slang. I understood so much when I was there. Lisa Kirk, I'm glad you're enjoying our uh, chat. This is an interesting question. Noel Ebert, I've never gotten a question like this, but I want to answer it. What country has the best spices? Eating some amazing pepper right now on my salad. Mm. So um, Mor- Morocco has incredible spices, I was say but Morocco. don't buy them in anywhere near a tourist location. Um, you gotta you gotta get off the beaten path or have your guide take you somewhere um, to to get the good stuff. The other place that I really come home with a lot of spices from is um, Sao Paulo Market. Yeah, in Brazil the, has good the, stuff Mercado too. Municipal. I y'all. I'm not kidding. I have I have so many spices. It's not even funny. I have a, a gallon sized bag of little tiny baggies of, of spices that I've bought all over the world. I've had some taken away. Yeah, I remember we came back. We came Germany. back to Germany yeah. a few Christmases ago, and we had gone to Kadeve, which is like the fancy supermarket there, and they had some really good stuff. And we came back, and it was but they didn't take everything. They took like certain. It was like the, the they were making a like pot. Those took. are gone. But like I, no oregano, yeah. no no dried basil. But I think they were cooking Italian food that night, and so they just took those. And they're like, "Oh, I need these." So I think I think that's what happened. Yeah. So, so anyway. So yes, Francis, Michigan does have a lot of water. So, it does. And Ross is a good business school at Michigan. So, sorry. Yes. <clears throat> Tucson's a great city. It has UNESCO food town and a phenomenal boutique hotel called Hacienda del Sol. Okay. Cool. So Mary Ellen, because I love Mary Ellen's. Um, when my son was two, we visited my senior parents at Christmas and Brandon ate a bunch of chocolates at the coffee table. When I told him, don't eat me more, my dad said, those are filled with liquor. Yes. So, yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. That's awesome, by the way. Good parenting, Brandon, Mary Ellen. You're fi- she, awesome. <laughs> no, I love it. I love it. Like, so, I'm glad. So, I had, so this German girl that I may or may not have dated. See? No life before right, me. No, I don't remember. It's like, never happened. Um, so... When she moved to the U.S., she brought candies from Germany, and they had the liquor in them. Because in Germany, it's no big deal to bring, and you bring candies with liquor and give it to people. And so I remember her telling the story that she brought these candies with the liquor in it, and then she gave it to her family. And, like, the host was like, it's burning my mouth. Oh, my God. And so the exchange student got in big trouble because she was, like, given a gift. And, and the, the stuff had alcohol, alcohol in, it. in it. Yeah. That's but too bad. She, I mean, she lives in crazy family, so. Mm. Let's see. Oh, it's Dova. You always break my heart when you say hello, fellow travelers, when I never leave my country yet. Hey, Aww. fellow travelers is when you travel in here. That that you counts. You can be traveling okay? anywhere. I mean, that's one thing we like to do. That, that's one of the big things that means a lot to me when we make our videos. And we get a lot of people to write us and say, hey, you know, either I'm homebound, I can't yep. travel, I don't have the money for it, but I get to see the world through you. And that's one of the things that helps us keep doing these things. Because sometimes you're like, you know what, I just want to stay home. Like, no, it's 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 good to go. And then we get to do videos in different places. Like some people have never heard of El Salvador. Like Belize, we're like, what's a Belize? You know, like because th- that's one of the things sometimes we forget is I, I really probably should put like a map of the world, like where the video is from. Because sometimes people are like, I've never heard of a Rwanda. I don't know what a Dar es Salaam is. You know, and you're like, right. you know, and, and so so for Dova, I'm glad we can show you some of the world because you are a fellow traveler. So respect thanks for being here tonight thank too. you we appreciate it um mr means to travel get the carne seca and chimichanga yeah carne seca is welcome lose back okay will you ever move abroad for good what's for good mean we'll That's, move abroad we'll move abroad again for sure especially if the kids are because right now well now that we're doing homeschooling because of all this stuff it gives us an idea if it's something can work um but like right now because like for caleb caleb's in seventh grade I want him to have high school, and we both want him to have high school in one spot. Whether um, it's here or, I mean... Like, wherever wherever we are when he starts high school, we're staying there. For four years. For four years, because we want him to have but that. here's what sucks about that, is that right after that, Liam will start high school. Mm-hmm. So we either stay there for eight years, or we go to somewhere else for four years. Yeah. And, and, although, and, I think Liam, they're different kids, and I think Caleb would do better if we stayed for four years. I don't know, maybe not. I don't know. He, I mean, he could handle it. Depends where we went. I think, I think they both could handle it. They should stay. Yeah. But, but like, well, I don't know. Maybe Liam's the one that needs the four years in one place and Caleb could split and float. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I went to three high schools and three grade schools. I didn't get kicked out of any of them. Um, we just moved a lot. And um, 
I don't know. I mean, I I'm glad I went to all. The, you know how many how many class reunions I've got this year? It's pretty cool. I mean, it's just an interesting thing. So okay. So Scott Black, I don't know the conversation you had with me before, uh, but yes, I got drunk and lost in a few countries. I'm sure a few people have. Excuse me, but the one I actually woke up and somewhat remember was in Munich. Yeah, that that's one of the things a lot of people have had that. Um, I remember the first time I went to Oktoberfest, I was doing my master's in Germany and I went down with a friend of mine, Danielle, she's in Florida now. We went down, went to the, went to the stuff and when we came back, we got on the train to come back and these these, these um, US students got on the train, they put their buddy, they sat their buddy in the seat and they're like, hee hee, and they put the train ticket in his front pocket here and then they ran off the train and the train was going up to Berlin. So the dude passed out, and so he was out. So the conductor just took the ticket, stamped it, put it back in his pocket. Dude was oh, gone. Like, no. Like, we got to we got to Berlin. It was like a six-hour train ride. We got to Berlin, and he was still out. We're like, dude, you got to get up. He's like, okay. My I gosh. That. Yeah. That's I mean, a terrible that was, thing yeah, to do. I was like 22. I would have probably People said People are something. kind of... But I think I, I think I that guy needs to go. That I'm glad he stopped drinking. Let's just put it that way. Yeah, right? You need to go to the hospital. Um uh 030 canadian here we've been to the u.s mexico ecuador galapagos um, awesome iceland england wales france czech netherlands costa nicaragua where should we go next that's a good lot of different sort of places i think it would be fun for you to maybe try something in the south of europe um like in italy italy spain greece portugal like down that area I think I, um, also, but they're they're pretty adventuresome. I would go. I would might go look into Southeast Asia or maybe even you know go North Asia like Japan. Or if you want to go, if you if you really are as adventurous as that list seems, Rwanda, Tanzania, you, Rwanda, Tanzania, like yeah. do a safari. Um, those are incredible. That might be a that might be a good fun thing to do. Okay. Somebody on there said, "I travel a lot right now from room to room in my house." <laughs> Hey, us too. too. See, we're all fellow travelers. I do like the things where people are putting around with their, like, um, they're on their wine tour and they put a different wine in each of the one of the rooms. And so they go through and try the wines and stuff like that. And, and that's the thing is we have to stay positive at a time like this because. You drink that much. Well, I, I think, well, I think what you do is you, like, have the, the core things. You pour, like, a couple glasses in each one and go around. Or it might just be, like, Glenn Livid and just drink the whole thing. But. Okay, what was that? Austin Johnson. So Austin Johnson, I'd like this question. Any tips for a young married couple to budget and plan for a lifetime of travel with kids? Also love the content and you're a wonderful fam. Thank you very much, Thank Austin. Um, so here's the thing is for us, we have made traveling a priority. Okay, so like we don't have cable. We don't have fancy cars. We don't spend money. I'm like... We, we go car, to we drive our cars until the wheels fall off. actually fall off. Like like we we got rid of our flex because literally the door was falling. It off. had like two hundred thousand miles on it. I mean we drove. Oh, we, it was only one hundred eighty five, one hundred ninety. Anyway, maybe we did have two hundred. But it was. It, I mean, we drove we drove that car to the ends of the earth, um, or at least the ends of this continent. Um, so prioritize your money when. Yeah. You know, like when we say we don't have cable, we haven't had cable or anything like cable since. Well, we well, we got we, Netflix eventually. Yeah. But I so, mean, since before we were married, and except for when we lived in Portugal, but it came with. But it the came house. with the hotel or the apartment. Um. It there's. You have to find the ways. Also, like what we'll do is a lot of times we don't we don't eat out a lot when we're home. So I'm like, well, we could go out to eat Italian. I'm like, or. We could save that could fifty or seventy dollars because there's four of us. We can save that seventy bucks, then we can go to Italy, eat way better Italian food for thirty bucks, mm -hmm. and so we kind of do those things. So I think we probably so, save a couple hundred dollars a week just by making choices like that, uh, which sounds silly, but it does make a difference. You know what? And on the food note, like I want to make a roast. I will buy. I love roast. Um, I will buy the cheapest possible six dollar chuck roast. Makes fantastic. Get a pressure cooker. Well, sorry. You that's know. that's it. I mean, that's exactly it. I got. I buy the cheapest, the cheapest, nastiest kind of meat that's awful, but I put it in a pressure cooker with a decent marinade on it, and we can eat that for two nights. So, like, we'll have a roast, and then the next day I'll make it into soup. And if there's anything left over from like the potatoes and whatever, then I make the potatoes for breakfast the next morning. Yeah, like with our eggs. 
for example, so for St. Patrick's Day, we had... Corned beef corn and cabbage. Beef. And, and so we had leftover, and then what did we have the next day? And we had corned beef soup. And yeah. it was a very different soup. I put in different herbs and, and things into it. Hi, buddy. Yeah. Also, some um, other things... That, oh, sorry. That's okay. Just, just prioritize, and where you know you're saving that money actually physically put the money somewhere yeah have a separate account yeah because because you have your slush fund mistakes have like bad things happen like right now we're like Walt Disney World's toast tanked it's tanked and There's, that's what pays for our and travel. that's what pays for all the travel but it's like you know what we have we saved up money so we can still do the travel because we've made the sacrifice we've cut the things out also don't forget when you have little kids if they're under two they can travel for free when you're on your lap and a lot of people say well i'm not going to travel my kids they won't remember it's not about them remembering. It's about you remembering being with them in those places, and it gets them used and to traveling. And training them to know how to travel. That's another big thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jorge M., thank you very much for becoming a member oh, of our welcome channel. welcome to the club, Yay. man. Yay. Thank you very much, man. That's awesome of you. Very thank cool. you. Oh, my, come on. And that's, well, we got a bunch that just popped up here. My, come on. Thank you very much for the super chat. I ride my trainer bike and watch videos and pretend I'm traveling. Need the exercise as I'm sheltering in place with two great cooks, <laughs> wife and daughter who are bored and have a well-stocked pantry. Uh, dude, I lost, so if you haven't seen, I did, I've lost 50 pounds in the last year. It's tough right now. Like, the, the, as someone said, the quarantine 19 is real. So, so we got to be careful with that. But um, I feel like I've done pretty good. I'm no, you've done fantastic. I've been eating it. My macros have been off. I'm I'm doing not enough carbs and too much fats. My protein's pretty on every day, so thank God for little miracles, right? Yeah. yeah. And um so like and that's the thing is so I've seen Michael, like there's some of the running things, like our YMCA. So instead of going to the fancy gym, we belong for the family membership with the Y. Um and so like they have a thing where you can for your kids. Yeah, and you can do stuff for your kids, so you throw the kids in the well your kids your daughter's a little bit older than the playroom, Michael. I know that. Um, but we'll put the kids in there, and then we'll go run or we'll go do something. And they have actually have a thing where you do the running, and it'll let you run, like, through a town. So that's kind of cool. So there's some things there. Also, if you are if you have, like, the at-home bike thing, if you look online on YouTube, there's ones that have the bike stuff. So it kind of helps you ride through the bike. So you have to, like, kind of tell yourself what to do. But it helps you kind of do things like that. So that's helpful. Corbin Legrand, thank you very much for the super chat. I appreciate it, buddy. Your question. After this chat, my fiance and I want to go out drinking with you two. Seems like it would be a night of full of laughs with love and barbecue from Kansas City. Oh, KC. So here's the thing. Because if you don't know, Corbin, I have a Don'ts of Kansas City. I also have a Shocks of Kansas City. And so I was putting together the Shocks of Kansas City video for the Super Bowl. And the first shock I have is... Kansas City isn't in Kansas. And then the president said, well, congratulations to everybody in Kansas. And people made fun of him like, well, I don't want this to seem political. And so I didn't put it out. So I started working on that actually today uh, to put out the, uh, the shocks in Kansas City. But actually, for people that are thinking of going to the U.S., Kansas City, Kansas, or Kansas City, Missouri, and you can go to the Kansas City, Kansas part too, really is a fantastic city with some fantastic museums there. I love it there. I was like, I could understand all of our friends – so we're from the Midwest, and a lot of our friends went to the University of Kansas, and then ended up staying mm -hmm. moving to Kansas City. And I'm like, and I understand why. They are. It is a fantastic place. I highly recommend it. So, um, let's see. Any plans for Columbia, Jorge? Yes. Yes. Um, we've been trying to get there, but you know what has happened? The three times we were going there, we found tickets to somewhere else for like, like nothing. Deals you can't that we just couldn't pass up. Four hundred dollars. Four hundred dollars to Ireland was one. You have to be willing to go where the ticket is cheap. Yeah. Austin needs. To oh be yeah, there. Austin. That's one of the things. Like, be open to wherever you go. Yeah. Um. So Colombia is a place. So for example, and then we were supposed to go. Like our plan was Colombia for Thanksgiving this year, um. But then since our Cayman Island trip got canceled, so then we had to change. Like, well, it, we couldn't go there. They're like, oh, you can move your tickets back until a certain time. So that time is now reserved for, you know, going to Cayman Islands. So, like, Columbia got pushed back. So right now, it, since our May and June trip are getting canceled, the next idea was, oh, we'll spend Christmas in Columbia. And now that our trip to Europe is probably going to get canceled for May and June, that will be switching to then. So Columbia now looks like maybe spring break of next year. So we do want to go. Like, that is definitely on the place we would definitely want to go. Um, okay. Babs, I have a Europe account, but now, but now I don't want to want to spend it. I would save it now. That's okay. So that. Yeah. 
Ahmed, that's a very personal question. Memphis. Um, anyway, uh, moving on. Come to Dallas. Dominic Gomez, come to Dallas. I will buy you ribs and beer. My God. We have to go down Will you there marry me, Dominic? <laughs> We have to Mark and Mark, Mark and Terry, Terry are down, there. Are down there too. So um, yeah, we'll get there someday. Mm -hmm. Nashville for barbecue and whiskey. So <clears throat> here's the thing: there is good barbecue all over the United States, um, and part of what makes it so good is that it's different everywhere. And um, you know, like some days I'm in the mood for like a dry rub, and other day other days, you know, I just I just want a brisket sometimes. Like I want Alabama white sauce. Other times I want, you know, vinegar or mustard. I mean, or somebody just, just want the meat, like Texas. Like, look, I just want the yeah, meat. Yeah, just dry rub. Some brisket. <laughs> so, anyway. Give me that. So, Patty oh, Forsman, all caps. So, got to make sure I say this one. I just come on. Nice to see you again. Good to see you too, Patty. What's up with all the text in the screen? So, it's what, too, the light's on, so you can't really read it. Oh, what's on? The, yeah, sorry. Maybe this will help. So what we have on the top here is we just want to say thank you to all the people out there in the many, many ways from healthcare to supply chain. We want to say thank you for all you do and prayers for the families affected by the virus. Uh, so that's kind of us putting something out there for that. And then down below, if you want to follow Joss from me on Instagram, we have Walter's World and Joss and Walter's World. If you want to follow us on Twitter, we have that one. And then if you want it, then there's some more information below. So we put those things on there. Um, one of the things I do is actually we can make it so it's just us talking. But I put that um, that question thing there because when people watch the replay, they don't always get the uh, this thing over here, which has the live chat. So I, I kind of want to make sure everyone has a chance to see the things, especially when I do this for my students. when We do like practice exams so they can see the answers. So we have that. Um, Christmas in Argentina is supposed to be nice. We haven't. Done Except for the rain, don't you didn't tell about the rain. It does. It does rain down there. In yeah, the you get stuck at a gas it. station for three hours in the rain. You'll remember that. You'll remember that. Um, I, you always say, well, that Christmas that we spent um in Bamberg is one of our faves. Yeah, that was nice. Um, and Avignon was another one that was yeah. really nice. South, you know, France was. Yeah, we was a nice. We spent we spent a lot of Christmas abroad. A lot abroad. of Christmases. But it's been and the thing is. For, for Austin, who's that, that young family, one thing I would say is when you're looking at your Christmases, you want to spend it with the family and stuff like that. But sometimes you want to have just you and the wife or you and the little kids and stuff. And so sometimes it's it's an easy way. It's an easy cop out sometimes to be like, look, we're taking just the three of us are going to go spend Christmas in Costa Rica or in France or something like that. So you can have that time, just the three of you. And sometimes it's cheaper. Yeah. And then sometimes you want to have that. Like, we've had my parents come and your mom come on our trips, too. Because you're like, you know what? We want to spend time with them. Because as you get older and your parents get older, you're like, you know what? You don't get them forever. Yeah. And so if you get a chance to do things like that, it's really nice. Like, I was really happy a few years ago. Her mom got to come on. She was one of the chaperones on one of our trips, uh, which is really nice. My parents have been chaperones on the trips. And then also we've gone on trips with them. It's like, you know, it's it's nice to do those things. We just got to get Papu on there. To go with us, and we'll be fine. Well, there was thought about that for summer, this yeah. summer in Greece, but, but not anymore. Okay, so means to travel, Mark. When you were in Huntsville, Alabama, with Liam, did you do anything besides Space Camp? Um, I always see cheap flights from there, Chicago, and it's one of the few states I haven't visited. So Huntsville was kind of interesting. So, man, if you're not doing Space Camp, though, there's not a lot there. there there's 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 an art museum. There's the food's good. But yeah, there's not there's not a ton yeah. to do. Um, like I filmed my Don'ts of Alabama when I'm mm -hmm. there, uh, but there's there's not a ton there. I mean, you go to the art museum, you go to you you where Space Camp is, you can actually go to the rocket muse the the Space and Rocket Center there and do that. Sorry, our our dog's going crazy because he's like, you've been talking to people, not doing anything with me. So it's kind of funny. Um, let's see, moving on. This is my fault. Let's see. Um, oh, so Francis Bernard, thank oh, for, that was back. a catch. Um, <laughs> fellow nerds, anyone heard been to the D and D theme park in Utah? I'm very curious. Walter's family into <laughs> such nerdiness. We did talk about Hogwarts houses at one point. Jocelyn is my fave. Uh, so your favorite Slytherin. Nice. Um, 
So I, I have seen some of the stuff on the Dungeons and Dragons stuff. I did do some of that when I was younger. We never did that. Yeah, I, I just did a little bit, but it just got too complicated for me. Uh, my buddy Jeff, his kid is huge into that, and they actually do that. And actually, one of our friends' high school son is a dungeon master, and there's a big enough crowd. He's making like a hundred bucks a night just going to people's houses and running Dungeons and Dragons tournaments. Who does yeah. that? Never mind. You don't he, need to say yeah. it. Yeah. So there's that. Um, but we personally don't know. Sorry, Francis. So Mark gets more animated the more he drinks. Well, I your mom more. says we love Baumberg. Yes, mom. We we all love Baumberg. It's fantastic. Even Ka. Ka says, hey, Hamburg is awesome. I know friends there who are on exchange. That's a really great place to be. Um, have we been anywhere in the Balkans apart from Greece? Well, if you mean like <clears throat> Croatia, Montenegro. I've been, we've been to Croatia. I've been to Croatia, Montenegro, Slovenia. So we've done that. We need... Um, if the Balkans in terms of like Romania or Albania, Albania or stuff like that, we haven't been to. That. And that was one of the things we were looking at doing this that summer. That was supposed to be part of this summer. But, but um, things are know. all... Um, Sam FW, and Sam FW, I always think it's Fort Worth. Every time I see your name, I think Sam Fort Worth. Um, what has Same better here. skiing, Austria or Switzerland? I don't ski. Like, I've never been on snow skis ever in my life. Okay, so both are going to be stupid expensive. That's why most people go... Austria would be cheaper, incrementally cheaper. <laughs> cheaper. It's like, oh, do you want your leg cut off above or below the knee? It's, it's still expensive. Um, that's why a lot of people go to uh, Poland or the Czech Republic to go skiing to save the money. Uh, um, if you're going to spend the money, I would probably go to Switzerland. To what was the first country you ever visited? For me, it was Mexico. I lived on the Mexico-Arizona border. I so... went to Windsor, Canada with my grandpa, with my mother, who's online. Love you, Mom. Uh, Do you all ever think your dog's going to swallow a tennis ball? I'm not kidding. It, he's a big dog. And I think it's like he just chomps on that thing. It's like he's gonna choke on it. It's his passive. It's like a it's like a kid in a grape, you know? It's just that that size. Anywho. Oh, jumped around. Oh, a super chat that just popped up. Thank you very much. Oh Cafe. Kathy Walter says Mark's first country was Australia, I think. No, Bob, it was Canada with grandpa. I was probably like twelve years old. I remember going, Wow, their their coins are so different. They had a loony, the one Canadian dollar coin, like this is so. And I remember, like the streets were so clean there. And now, <laughs> and now the place we went is like the gambling prostitute gavel or whatever. So it's kind of funny. Catherine Farrell, thank you very much for the super chat. Love you guys. Wanted to take our kids, two teens and a ten-year-old, on their first trip to Europe in 2021. Limited because of school, travels, and sports. Hey, we completely understand we that. that. Can we do in August or early November? Thoughts on countries? We'll have about ten days. Okay, so with ten days. I wouldn't do more than two countries uh, just because you're going to – it just the, – Travel I, between takes up too much time. Yeah, so you don't want to do that. So you could do like Berlin, Prague, down to Munich. So you're doing like Germany and the Czech Republic. You could do that. Um, or you could do a Italy trip because that's good for kids then. If, but August is pretty hot. Um, August is hot, but November is yeah. nice. Early, in, November, in you can like, go anywhere. Re, that southern November is it's really nice in the southern countries: um, Portugal, Spain, Greece, Italy, all of those right down there. Um, but I like um, I like the northern countries for like the right. August stuff when it gets when it's really hot. Um, also, the north the, the Nordic countries have a little bit more outdoor stuff to do, so the ten year old might enjoy that more. Um, but if, as far as like effectual history that they're studying and, and stuff all the time, like when they're like, I know that, I know that France, Italy will be great for France, them. Italy, Greece, um, yeah. those would be really good for those things. Um, but I don't know if I do Greece in early November because so many things are closed uh, because so many tourists have gone switch for the islands. Yeah, so on the that. islands for sure. Um, in Athens, you don't have that. In Athens, yeah. uh, in on the mainland, it's not as bad though. Yeah, but they only have ten days. I would yeah. probably do Italy, or I do kind of like a Central Europe thing. Maybe do Budapest, Vienna, which is two and a half hours away, then up to Prague. So you could do that. Nader Mark loves Cedar Point. That was a thing for that's him as a did. kid. That's what we did. Every summer, we went to my grandpa in Toledo. We watched the two little mud hens play baseball. We go eat some pancakes. Then we go to Cedar Point in Sandusky, see our fa our family friends, the Deerings, and uh, spend a few days there. We um, go out on the lake, and then we do the the water park or the wavy well, wave pool. pool, and then we go to Cedar Point. So that's how we did it. 
So, Brett, we have not been to Newfoundland or Labrador. I do want to go there. That was another one of those things that kind of got sacrificed yeah. because of all the stuff going on right now. Oh, we just jumped around again. Sorry. Yes, Terry, Pittsburgh is really cool. Um, it's okay, Mom. You can't remember everything. I still love you. Oh, Jimmy, UK, you were supposed to go to sleep before we even started this. I saw you write that. Damn, and it's, it's, I'm in, in bed. Wait, Jimmy, we start, for you and <laughs> Snore, we started this early so you could like chat um, and then go to bed, and, dude. But you know what, Jimmy? We're going to have one on Saturday, our Saturday morning, so, so your, your Saturday, Saturday afternoon. And hey, I hope you're, you and your mom are having a good luck finding a new place. I know you were telling me about that, so good luck, brother. All right? So, because here's one of the things is a lot of people don't realize is there's a lot of families going through a lot of stuff with this crisis and even normal stuff like, hey, we've got to move, we're going to a new place, you know, they're, they're, they're selling our house or whatever. And so a lot of families are kind of stuck because I can't even go look at a new place to stay. So, thank you, Jimmy. So. Ka says, I think my dog Brutus would swallow me. <laughs> He's a massive German shepherd. Shedder. Yes, yes. My sister's dog name was Brutus and Brutus was, um, he was... Pit and some kind of other bulldog. He's a massive dog. His head was like this big. Oh my goodness. We're big dog people around here. Yeah. I wanted a German Shepherd. But... They're called real dogs. Huh? They're real dogs. Other dogs are real too. They're just small. <sighs> They're just small. Snack size. Yeah, exactly. Because another size. dog will eat them. Yes. So, right. uh, Scott Black, the Carolinas have your vinegar mustard sauce. Yep. Yep. Yeah, can't I go know. wrong there. I know. I lived in, I lived in, um, you know, Georgia, right on the border, and we would, yeah, anyway. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh, Jorge's got a question there. Oh, How do you guys we're... agree on where you're going next? What if one of you doesn't want to go? Then we don't go where she doesn't want to go. <laughs> That's not true. B.S. In the beginning of our marriage, you and your mom, no offense, Kathy, the two of you would get together and plan all this stuff out, and I'm like, I really want to see this. Can we just go to this? And I would have to beg and plead because you two would get on a roll and it would be, we're done. We'll jump in on the planning phase, sweetheart. And we'd be, have you, is there any place you'd like to go we haven't gone? I want to go to Bhutan. Okay, well. We can't afford to go to Bhutan. We can't, at $500 a day per it's person. Not $500 okay, a day. 400 like plus dollars per day per person. I know, it's like $1,000 a day for us to even walk no, into the country. No, it's 2000 because we have four people. I think it's four, I think it's 250 no, It was 400 last time you checked. Well, anywho, yes. Um, so Thank you all for decide? being our marriage counselor, by the way. <laughs> we appreciate that. Oh my gosh. Um. So how do we decide? Well, usually, well, okay, so it's a little different now. Like back in the day, it was kind of like, where do you want to go? Because you haven't gone. But now we both travel a lot of places. So now it's like, who do we want to see? So we want to go see our friends. Like I'd like to go back to Lithuania to see my buddy Alvi. I'd like to go to Finland to see my family, my Hutala family, because my sister had a... In Australia to go see. Australia to see my family there. And so there's, there's, there's all kinds of places we want to go. Because a lot of times now it's because we want to see friends. But also what we do every year is we always ask fans, where do you want us to go? Um, so that that's one of those big things. Like our, our trip for our, our fans this year, we you know we were going to go during our trip here coming up and to Europe, but now that's gotten canceled or it probably will be canceled. So we got to figure a new place to go for our fans. So there is that. Um, and sometimes it's where have we not been, mm -hmm. um, you know. Yeah, so Mark Finley, we're thinking about booking a nine of the TW Hey at JFK. It looks amazing. Have you heard about it? I have heard about it. Go book. Just do it. Here's the thing is, any of the theme hotels, whether you're in Cleveland, Ohio, where you can go to the Christmas Story house, right. those places oh, are good. You go we for, have to go there, Jorge. We yes. have to. That's been decided. Yes. Um, you have to go. Like, you go to those places for one night because you want to get the experience, but you don't want to, like, lose the magic. So go experience it, have fun, and then move on. Um, so I would definitely do that, especially because I know you guys got that extra night in at, in New York when you're flying back from Paris. Um, really worth it. No, Megan, Joshua, I've not been to Bali. Megan says that it's uh, that the TWA hotel is amazing. The pool is epic. She was there in January. Thank you, Megan. Very nice. All right. Good night. Okay, WT. WT. Good night. I'm getting. Oh, James Land. James good to see you, buddy. Here, where'd it go? It zipped by. Oh, there we're, he is we're jumping around stop. again. Hi, I'm late, but I made it. Well, welcome. We're glad to see you. Yeah, good to see you, buddy. <laughs> Jimmy, you can't go too bad. You're still awake. 
Patty, we are in Illinois right now. I won't answer the next part of that question. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so Brian Boyd, Reeks Museum and the Van Gogh Museum are two things I want to do in Amsterdam. Yeah, and the thing is they're right by each other, so you can actually do them both in the same day, no problem. Mm, and can I tell you about two little hidden gems from there? So oh, God, okay. if it, yeah, so if the Reeks is behind you and Van Gogh's in front of you, go left. I have no idea what direction that is in, in Amsterdam, but anyway. Wait, the Reeks is behind me and I'm looking at the Van Gogh. You're looking at Van Gogh, okay. go left. Um, down that way, there's this really cool shop, and it's minerals and rocks and fossils bugs? and bugs. I yeah. have bugs. If you look on my blog from was it yesterday? Yesterday's blog. I've got one of my it's bugs. It's like day on eleven there. of quarantine. The, and the guy in there, he, it is such a treat. I mean, even if you're like not into any of that stuff, the the man that runs the place is just amazing. It is only open by chance, though. Um, by appointment or chance, but um, it doesn't say that on this. It does, too. and it's just such a cool place. Um, a couple Ooh, blocks Greg. closer toward um, the Van Gogh Museum, still on that left side, is a place called the Avocado Show. Um, my sister is nuts about avocados, and so she made us go there when we were there, and it it was really really good food. Oh, I think I might have that for breakfast tomorrow. There you go. Yeah. Someone's asking, New York style pizza or Chicago style pizza? So Chicago's New so York. thick that I have to go to New York. Um, I do like Chicago, but every time we go to the Chicago, we go to Chicago with friends and we always make sure we get it. I remember last time I was in Chicago. I went there for a conference. Again, another conference that got canceled. So I show up. Thank you, Hyatt, for letting me cancel the next three nights so I didn't lose a grand. Um, but right next to it, there's a Lou, uh, Lou Malati's or whatever, and we went there. Malati's. Malati's, sorry. And I went there, and there's this, this English guy was sitting next to me. And because we were at the like the bar, and he's like, and they're like, oh, do you want to get a uh, pizza? Do you want to get a, a, a starter? And he's like, well, I'll get a, a big salad, and then I'll get a medium pizza. And I'm like, dude, dude, <laughs> get the personal, get the small. He's like, I don't need that. I'm like, I'm like, dude, you're gonna die. I'm fat, and I'm telling you, just get the tiniest one because that's all you need. Because I got like their personal one, and I'm like, I got that. And then he got the medium and the salad. I think he got breadsticks too. No, they don't have breasts. They had like something else as well. I'm like, I'm like, dude, you're wasting. You can't do that. So the dude was like, you could see he was uncomfortable after the starters. And then they brought out the medium. And I'm like, dude, like one slice that fills me up. And I told him that, but of course, no one listens. Uh, so it's pretty funny. Last time I was there, I like but in terms of the best pizzas. one, I'm pretty good with all. But I like, I like the New York, like the, the thinner slice. But to be honest, I almost never eat pizza unless I'm in Italy. There's plenty and of stuff left. I I don't know why that is. I just I, I eat it there because we're eating it with friends and stuff, but I don't. That was a ridiculous. That was that was a bit. I should have I should have had more ice. Oh, well, you're taking my ice. I need yeah, well, to get, I need to get more ice. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, have we been to Bali? No, we have not done that yet. Um, maybe. Um, and Thailand. So Thailand was on our list. We had a big last summer. List. But we had to go. We had a wedding. But we had a wedding, so that that got summer. changed two summers ago. And you know what? That happens to us a lot, and we're okay with that. Like we'll get there if it's in the world. It's probably on our list. Um, but you know, family and friends are are what make our travels, and part. It's also what makes these videos that we make for y'all so real and honest and authentic okay, because we're. We're there with locals most of the time, and so we get better information and things. So, um, you know, sometimes we have to give things up, but we'll get there. Ah, uh, ta da ta da ta da. Okay, we yeah, had a drink really at the it. TWA hotel, and you can go into an old plane. That is so cool. I love that. And I'm an architect. My minor was architectural history, and so I would love to go and and. Be a part of all that. That would be really cool. You didn't bring me. Oh, thanks, darling. Yes, honey. I thought of you as I always Mario do, says no my dream is to visit Iceland someday. I'm trying to find oh, dude, another awesome. part-time job. One just isn't enough. You know what? You're right. Um, especially with Iceland because Iceland's not cheap. Although no. you can so you can get there cheap. You can get there cheap and hotels. If you find the right places, they're. They can be about the same price as U.S. hotels, maybe occasionally a tiny bit less or or a bit more. Or you can rent one of those little vans with the bed in the back. Um, I don't know how much those cost, but I think it sounds really fun. Um, so, but the food was expensive in Iceland. The food was also some of the best, freshest, most 
Like when they say local and you know, like, oh, it's local meats and whatever, they don't mean local. local like from Iceland. It they mean like from the farm next door. Yeah. Like, like the guy the caught me he, we Caleb ordered a fish and they were like, you know, ah, it's kind of bony. I don't know that you're gonna want that, you know, but and we're like, it's okay. He eats lots of fish. We know, you know, we're pretty good about cutting and, and whatever. We'll be okay. And they were like, okay, we'll we'll go ahead and do that. So um we had to pre-order that. We had to pre-order the fish. And so we're sitting in there like later in the day and the guy yeah, comes we were walk- playing we were playing Uno. Of course. And the guy comes walking in with three fish on a line and we're like the guy. He was like 14, 15. It was the kid. It was her school. daughter. It was his, her son. Her son. And we're like Oh, wow. He's just walking in with the fish, and she goes, "There's, there's your, there's your dinner." <laughs> like, yeah. Oh my gosh! I, and then there was there's one place we were. He's like, "Yeah, the lamb you're eating, my husband raised the mm. the the sweater I bought you a bought. Sweater. The sweater was from a lamb from like a cousin down the road, and my grandma sewed it. It was like it was like everything Her aunt was knitted it, like whatever. Knitted, I mean, yes. it was literally like all right there. Yeah. Iceland is incredible, and it is it is so worth seeing. Um, but it's not it's not terribly inexpensive. But you can do it. It's, you know, we also didn't do it as cheap as we could have because we had the kids. Yeah. Um. So we are more particular about places that we stay with our kids than we would be without the kids. So if you're on your own, Mario, that might be yeah. that might be easier. So Kim M, I I really appreciate this, Kim M. Love your stay home message. It is responsible and right. Oh, thanks. And and that's one of the things is I, we. Well, our buddy from our buddy Rob from Tripax DC, we have, both of us have been really upset with a lot of travel bloggers who haven't talked about this, where they were like, "Oh, don't worry about it, keep traveling, buy the tickets and go." I'm like, "No, right now you shouldn't be traveling. You need to stay home." And it really, they're I mean, jumping on board now. now yeah, now they're jumping on board, but it was finally. yeah, finally. But it was like, oh, let's, I mean, I we were I was really upset. Rick or Rob and I were upset. We were talking about this multiple times. I'm like, we need to get people to stay home. And, I mean, it, it totally killed our channel. I mean, it, it really did. Like, putting out videos, don't travel on a travel channel. Like, YouTube contacted us. Yeah, they're like, said, they're like, don't don't, don't talk about this don't stuff. Don't do this. I'm yeah. like, no, we have to let people know that this is not the time to travel. We want people to travel, but not now. We need to stay mm-hmm. home and do our part. And, I mean, like I was telling earlier in the thing, we usually in, in March we're getting about 150,000 views. And yesterday we had 18,000. Not 118,000, we had 18,000. Like, no one's watching. And I'm okay with that because you know what? We're doing we, the right we're thing. We're doing the right thing. And hopefully people will come back and watch our videos when people start traveling again. That's why we really appreciate all of you being on here and being part of this live feed because you know what? I know a lot of people aren't thinking about travel right now and I'm glad I can I'm glad we can get the right message out there. So it's really nice. <laughs> Galventing gals, <laughs> Thanks, thank you girls. for the super chat. <laughs> we appreciate it. you guys need a group trip for your subscribers. I'm sure one day we will do something like that. Um Right now, we've just done stuff because of school and things like that. But I'm sure one day we'll, we'll probably do something down there. So that's really nice. Um, there's one down here. So, time for a kiss. Oh, y'all haven't been on in a minute. I'm time. glad to see you. Nice. I get no love until you're here, my friend. Uh, so, time for a kiss writes, top three events, festivals you've experienced. You want to start? Or... I, I, I'm, I'm staring at that going, top three festivals and events. So, for me, it's usually my wedding number one. Oh, both of them. Three of them. All three of them. We've been married a few times. We we've never been divorced. We just keep having wedding ceremonies. We like to re- um, re- redo our vows. So events, festivals. Um, so I I love festivals in small towns. Festivals in big towns are cool too. But I really enjoyed like the one that where Caleb popped his head open in in Portugal. That yeah, was no, fun. I, yes, I remember that because I, I, I still see the blood spewing <laughs> everywhere. Um, you know, there are just a lot of those little um, the, the smaller towns. So those are the things I love the most. And you probably have more experience with that stuff than I do. Oh, and I don't know if this counts as the concert thing, but when Caleb, when we lived in Portugal before the um, we just not even pregnant yet. Um, we took, there was a kids opera and my best friend from Portugal was like, Hey, let's take the kids to this. They had a little boy about Caleb's age and it was a children's opera and it was amazing. The kids were just wrapped with, you know, they were just staring there just loved it. Um, so that was another really big one that stands out to me. Ooh, and the Sardinish. 
the Sardinius Festival. So you have Santos, which is That's a big it. festival in Lisbon in June. I really recommend that because everybody is out in the streets having a great time. Not this year, but probably not. But like they have all kinds of stuff going on. It's just a really great festival. Oktoberfest was actually I had a really good time when I was there for that. But you don't want to be there at night. You want to go early in the morning and go drink during the day because everything's booked <clears> out <throat> during the night and it gets overdone. Um, one thing I went to I went to Venice during Carnival. It's unless you're going to one of the balls, it's not as wonderful as you think it's going to be. I'm um, actually it's funny because I actually did a um, don'ts of festival travel. I filmed that we were in uh, Edinburgh for the Edinburgh Festival last year oh, you were. with my mom, and I filmed down there with my buddy Scott Neal. And uh, I haven't put that one out yet, but you we'll should. get that. Well, well, there's not a lot of festivals going on right now. Um, I think this is a, one to talk about. Where oh, where to go? Well, there's, there's a few. One, Nick K. Hi from Seattle. Thank you for doing this. It makes having to sit at a home so much better. That's why we're doing it, honey. What are a couple of places that are a must visit for the food alone? Okay, Nick, in Seattle and Washington, we're thinking about you, man. You be safe, my friend. I know that's like ground zero in the U.S. And we're just, yeah. we're thinking about you, buddy. Um, but if you're thinking about a good place to go when it's over um, that doesn't have gum on the wall, my Seattle friends will get that joke. Um and just for the food, what was surprising for me, I'm not a vegetarian, but in oh, Rwanda, yeah. the food there, there's so many vegetarians so there because good. they don't want to use the cow to lose the cow. They don't want to lose the meat because they can use the blood. They can use the, 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 the poop and the milk and yeah. all kinds of stuff. And the food there was fantastic. Like That was really kind of like, that's a really foodie place to go. Like, like you, it's not it's foodie, a, it's like not a foodie, foodie thing, yeah, but the food is really, really good. good. And you don't, you don't expect it and I yeah. think that's part of why it was so good <clears throat> for me obviously Greece and Italy are just like in, and and France are an, are amazing places to eat um, but I'm gonna say Brazil mm -hmm. there, it's not the hugest variety well no but Brazil it, it depends be. on where you go like you'll see very much regional stuff like in the very south right it's the it's the grilling of the meat and stuff like that but you go to the, like Bahia, you have the acarajé, you've got the fruits, too. you've got the you've got the spices and stuff, the um, dengue oil, oh, so nice. And then, but Iceland is on is high on my list too because, it the like I said, it was and... just so fresh. I mean, and like the skier s k y r, you know, you see that instead of yogurt and whatnot in the U S. The skier that we get here is like, it is it is nothing <sighs> like the skier you get in Iceland. I mean, it's just not at all. It's kind of like. The Greek yogurt we get in America is nothing like the Greek yogurt you get in Greece. A, I, remember, I remember after going to Greece with you in 2012, I think. No, 11, because we went there after Lima mm -hmm. for once. And so we go there, and I'm like, this is really good. And we moved back to the U.S. And we well, were having like home homemade, homemade Greek yogurt like with homemade, like there's it. the bee and there's the goat. You know? yeah, and you're like, yeah, yeah. this is amazing. And so I came back, and I'm getting like Oikos, and I'm like, oh, John Stamos says it's good. <laughs> And I'm like, well, he's Greek, so and I would get it. And I'm like, this doesn't taste right. Like, this is wrong. And then it's like zero fat. I'm like, and John, no. John, John's like, that's not yogurt. Yogurt has fat. Greek yogurt has fat. Like but Greek husband. yogurt is also made typically, I mean, at least in the homes, it's made from goat's mm. milk, not yeah. cow's milk. And it's always got honey. Like, I don't, I mean, you can eat it without honey, but I don't know anybody eats it without honey, right? That would be wrong. But, I mean, you can get it on the... It's like peanut butter bread. without jelly, Mark without Jocelyn. I like peanut butter without jelly. I like peanut butter with chocolate. It's but you like peanut like butter. Eggs time. It's, ooh, I should have had my ship lady do that. Y'all, I ordered Mark uh, Finley. Today. Mark Finley knows what I'm going through right now. What? Love you, Mark. I got, I ordered groceries today. I've never done that before. And it was a really pleasant experience. Yeah, shout out to our local yeah. Meyer. Megan was shipped. Meyer, amazing. She yeah. was really cool. Yeah. Um, she was texting me throughout and helping me out. And we were like making jokes back and forth and whatever. It was really good. So, mm. yeah. Let's anyway. see. Okay, <clears throat> we would now some more. Oh, we got another jump. Ah, oh, we got another jump. Sp Larry H. Spanish food is good, Did but I prefer the tapas. Go for the tapas, little snacks. That's a better thing to do. Did you answer um, the, the the gallivanting girls about whether or not we would do a? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, eventually we'll do something like that. France. 
Oh, oh Francis see? asked about the group trip. Did we ever so, get Francis, an no, one, one day, one day we will, okay? Um, but I have reservations about it. I'm just going to be really honest because y'all know that's what we do. I have reservations because um, there have been weird things that have happened to people when they've done those, and we have children. Yeah. Well, so, every, cause, like, like, there's a reason why we don't do like meetups when the kids are around because there's been a couple of YouTubers that actually been killed. And I, I, I don't think any of you are going to do that. Our children right I know. Well, they'll be fine. They're, they'll be like, oh, really? It's 9.30. Uh, yeah, they're fine. They're, it, it, it's hot. We're, they, what are they going to do? They're not going to do They're fine. Liam's asleep upstairs anyway. He's not. Okay, he's watching Scooby-Doo. He's watching Scooby-Doo. Okay, it's okay. Anyway. Um, so we haven't done anything yet. Not that I think, Francis, I don't think you would do that. Um, but like what, what has happened when, when like one of us is going, sometimes we will meet up with fans. We're going certain places like Scott Neal. We met up in Edinburgh and like if I was going down to Dallas, I'd probably meet up with, with Mark and Terry and stuff like that. So we do do those things. We haven't done like a big meetup because another thing is like we don't have a ton of, we have a lot of awesome fellow travelers, but I'd always feel weird. Be like, hey, we're going to do something. And then I'm like. Nobody shows up. Yeah. So. That's that. I always think that. That's yeah, it's like it's like no one's gonna come say hi. So no. Um, um, Mr. Means to travel. You are you are full of good questions tonight. Also, um, you can go check out their Instagram yes. feed. Just look up Mr. Means to travel or Mrs. Means to travel. They have stuff there. They're a really nice couple. So check them um, out. So the, Babs, said, I'm glad we can lift your spirits. What's Jocelyn your favorite? Takes too long to answer I'm questions. sorry. What's your favorite? What's your favorite happy hour country? I know Italy is great with their deals where you get a plate and a beer. <coughs> I'm six. I'm protecting. My Italy space. is good. Spain also is Spain's really good awesome for, that too. for a happy the hour. Little snacky things. And so stuff. you have the tapas in in, in Barcelona, pinchos, pinchos, which is on, it's a lot of stuff on bread. So if you like baguette, or if you like you don't you can't do gluten, it's probably not as good. Um, but like there's all kinds of great stuff you're gonna have um, for there. Um, but like because there because here's the thing is in Italy and Spain, happy hour isn't like where it's happy we're gonna drink. It's happier because I'm going to talk to people. And so in those places, that's a great time to meet locals because they're all out to chat. And so you'll chat with other people. And if you know a little bit of the language, just try. And you'll be surprised how many people can speak some English or German or whatever you speak and go that way. I mean, that's that's how I've met so many people in Italy and Spain and Argentina and stuff like that. It's just like I'm out during the happy hour, the aperitivo, and I have a drink. I'm like, oh, ciao, come on, stai. Ah, oh, molto bene. Ah, oh, no, parlo italiano molto bene. Bene, possiamo parlare. And like I'll start practicing my Italian and then we make all kinds of really good friends. So, so there's some stuff there. Jocelyn. Patty, we are at our house. This yeah. this this is our actual fireplace. Those are our kids' actual toys. They're Mark's toys. Don't let them. Don't let them. No. Okay. So hold liar, on. Liar, liar. Pants on fire. That's no. I didn't have Pokemon. That's not mine. Not mine. Not mine. Not mine. <laughs> not mine. Not mine. Not mine. That okay. So the, no. th these two here, the doctor and Amy. That's mine. And then going over here. So you see, He Man. That's that's mine. yours. So. Okay. Um. Ba -ba -ba. Smaller live chats are better because it's more engaging. You develop a bond with people who can't afford membership and it's easier to manage. Well, yeah. I don't know how to do that. Yeah, I mean, that's one of the things is nice. How do we make a smaller live chat if it's not members and patrons? Is I know, and that's that? one of the things like the members and patrons, we do a couple of these a month right now um, where we get to have it a little bit smaller. So there's like, instead of like questions flying by, there's like a question or two, and then we'll really discuss. We'll actually ask people beforehand, what would you like us to talk about? So we'll research a bunch of the information before we go, and we'll have, instead of like a like the one minute or two minute blah, 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 blah stuff we do, we'll spend like 10 minutes just really focusing on stuff. Um, so well, it's it's nice. And, and we really get to be good friends. I mean, yes, that's one of the and our things. members and patrons have developed a, a friendship between them to this – you guys are amazing, and this is part of what I love about these live chats is you guys sit and talk back and forth amongst yourselves, but that gets, like, on a deeper level because there are only, like, maybe 10 or 20 people on at a time or something. So they're, they're, you know, there's a lot more conversation coming and going between everybody. Um, and I know that Michael and Mark, who are both on here tonight, uh, those two, I think they're cut from the same cloth. Like, I yeah. just feel like they're going to be just friends for life because, you know, 
you know, and I'd love that if we have facilitated anyone becoming friends with somebody else, that that gives them yeah, great really joy, nice. yeah. right? So, Mick, Mick, me, me and Kanta Kylie. Okay, so you like Kylie. Um, Iraq or Iran. If I was going as a tourist and everything was safe, I'd probably go to Iran. Because um, a lot of the stuff in Iraq got destroyed. I got yelled at the other day. It's Iran. Oh, Iran. Okay, sorry. Sorry, I got really yelled at. It was oh, that yeah, lady that, that, that yelled was... about my whole vlog. Yeah, people. She's very mad at me we... about everything. And that, that's I'm one of the things we, we have. We have. I mean, trolls are trolls. And Jocelyn, fortunately, well, fortunately enough, hasn't had to deal with trolls as many years as I have. So I've kind of gotten a thick skin with it. So I kind of like it rolls off my back. Some of them still get me. Some of them still get me. Well, I do okay most no, of the time. And you do. I'm it's better. But yeah, that but one it's, lady it's was... tough. Like, cause some people will just mean. like just be mean about it. I'm like, you know what? Like, I'm used to people saying you're fat. You're you're so fat. Why should I listen to you? You're a fat piece of crap. And I'm like, yeah, whatever. Are you gonna say something about the good information I'm giving you? Like. If I have something wrong, then let me know. Because that's Some one thing is I like when people... just are unhappy human beings. They yeah. just want to find whatever they can to nitpick you and be mean. So that's that. Oh, Jim Patterson. I love you. Um, if you're still on here, I won't read what you wrote. But thanks, buddy. Um, Julia Sears is going to Oktoberfest. I'm glad we can help you out there. So Scott Black and a few other people have asked about the South Pacific. So we have considered doing the South Pacific. We were thinking about doing... I'm um, going down to Fiji and then from Fiji going to New Zealand and, and Australia. Um, but again, things have changed so much now. We don't know what the heck's going on in the future. But yeah, South Pacific is definitely one of the things. So back in the day when I used to spend a lot of time in South America, I used to meet a bunch of New Zealanders and Australians and they would be go, Australians, Australians, sorry. <laughs> and they would fly through the Cook Islands because they do their around the world thing. So it's like Cook Islands. Either go Cook I Islands. I like to do that. Then to, to Chile, then go, or they go from Chile to the Cook Islands going over. So I'd like to go there and some stuff like that. So Cook Islands and Fiji, a couple places we definitely want to go. Patty, I don't know if you missed it, but I did say that we, we were going to do like, so Thailand, Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia. We're going to do all of that in one big trip and it got canceled. Hold on. There was something else I want to answer there. Um, and she, anyway, uh, we couldn't because there was a wedding that we had to go to. Um, I like rock Jamaican, music. Jamaican food is awesome mm. and also vegetarian <laughs> We went to a place. Stush in the bush. Stush in the bush. See, don't we have great connections? Such yeah. good vegan food. And oh my gosh. I mean. We're not vegan, by the way. By we're not way. vegan. So but I mean, fantastic. even the kids were like, they were like, this is really good. You don't even need meat. I mean, it was it was just incredible. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, and then Julius Caesar, what on earth does Rwanda use the blood for with the cows? So a lot of places use it for cooking. Um, you'll, you'll and it's cook a fortifier and, and, and the, the yeah. high calorie protein content. Lots of um, iron. There's, yeah, it, they'll just use it to fortify food. But um, anyway. Yeah. Maldives, oh, I would love to go to Maldives. A lot of my friends from Portugal did their honeymoon in the Maldives, and so they came back with these great pictures. Oh, Megan um, says Morocco, Australia, Japan are great food places. Japan is incredible, but like just so different, right? But oh my gosh, do you remember that meat it was so expensive? I thought we I, we bought this meat. Yeah, you thought it was like, oh, that's for like all of us to eat. Like, no, I, that's for one it was, person. It was like two small pieces of meat about that big. And I was... It, it was, was so good. <laughs> so but then like, we need to get more food for the kids. I'm like, No. <laughs> He's like, we because can't. we can't it's afford this. I'm like, so we know. I don't. We, we took the kids to some place down the street, like a, a, a fast food Japanese place or something like that. I'm like, because I'm like, it was like two hundred dollars. I mean, it was a cool place. Food the was whole fantastic. Double meal was like two hundred dollars. Yeah. I almost crapped my pants when I saw that bill. Like, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm like, I'm like, no, we're good. Like, no, but everyone's still hungry. I'm like. No. No, we'll go get fries no. down the street. We'll go get some. Um, we, yeah, well, remember we ended up going and we got the fish pedicure and then we went home mm -hmm. and we stopped. I don't know, we stopped. We had, that was a fun night. I love Japan. Video. Japan is so great. I love fun. Japan. Um, but you also, Megan also mentions Morocco. Moroccan food is really good too. And that is another thing that's really good if you're vegetarian um, or vegan. But we went to a cooking class there at a place called Fan de Peace. Um, so it's like hunger for spices. Oh yeah, um, I, is how that translates. If you watch our Morocco food video, you'll actually know what the place does. yeah the 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 chef the, the chef Ilam um she was really cool. She's her so husband, sweet. She's her so husband sweet. was a riot. He's French. She's Moroccan. Um, 
But we, the four of us, took a cooking class. We had a great time. The The food was amazing. Um, anyway, that was really cool. Um, so Tara asks, have you been to the Georgia Aquarium in Atlanta? Is it worth a trip? Mark has been. I've not. Um, Mark, Mark really enjoyed it. He went and it wasn't terribly crazy. Um, so I don't know. I, Mark, is the Georgia Aquarium worth it? Yes. Oh, yes. That was a definite yes. Oh, yeah. Go um, wa watch our Don'ts of Atlanta video. You'll see some pictures from inside. Yep. Um, somebody asked about Spanish food. Spanish food's good. I really like the little snacks and things more than like tapas. sitting down the tapas. Yeah. Yeah. The, um, the, the tapas are, are the way to go. Also, if you go and you see any place that has paella and it's in a it's on a board with like ninety options, you don't want that. No it's good. gonna be it's gonna be microwave stuff. You don't want that. Um. Um, Muhammad, our college has been shut down until right April for April second. Yeah, it'll um, probably be shut down longer, my friend. Marks is shut down like in, yeah, rest, on well, per, in person is shut down for the rest of the semester. Yeah, I'm probably they're still having primary. classes, but they're doing them online. Yeah. Um, where are you at? Okay. Um, Time Scar Five Thousand. Our, yeah. Oh. So hey, Mark and Jocelyn, since this is from Time Scar Five Thousand, like Jocelyn said, hey, Mark and Jocelyn. Thank you for knowing my name. Uh, since you guys have been to so many different countries, do you speak different languages or have an easy time understanding different ones? So language learning, I've always liked doing it and I like learning languages. Um, Jocelyn does pretty good in Spanish. She got some Portuguese down, Portuguese, a little Spanish. bit of Greek and stuff. Um, I like I, I, I would need feel... to master something. That's yeah. the problem. I keep dabbling in things and I don't master any of them. Yeah, like I, I wouldn't have a problem like teaching a class in Spanish, Portuguese, German, English. All those. I mean, the thing is, those languages I have to like start practicing again, and they come back to me. Um, with a lot of practice, I could probably teach a class in Italian. Italian. Um, I used to teach in Lithuanian, but that's all gone now because that's been, you know, twelve. You don't get a lot ago. of opportunity to practice. Yeah, I, I remember when I meet a Lithuanian, I'm like, ah, came sakasi visi today, and I'm like, okay, I got to speak a little bit. So, um, Brian Boyd, good night, guys. Will you be on a Saturday morning? Yes. So for those that are wondering, yes. through at least mid-April, we're going to be doing every Wednesday night and Saturday morning with these live feeds because people are going to be locked in their houses and stuff like that or, or shelter in place. And we want to so give people a chance. we're going to have community here. Yes, yeah, so we're going to have community here. Whether it's with a drink or without a drink or whatever, we just want to be there for people because we know it's tough. And so I'm glad we can help out in any way we can. So we have that. JF, what U.S. state uh, that you haven't been to yet is on your list to visit? Alaska. Alaska. Oh! <laughs> Boom, there you go. So Alaska and Hawaii, I, what have I... You, I feel you like haven't I'm been to D, you haven't been to Washington. You haven't been to Oregon. No, when I was a kid, I did those, but I don't oh. remember Washington, Oregon. Um, I think I have some memories of Wyoming, but I might be getting it caught up with something else. And we have a friend. In well, Wyoming. you had to have driven through there. At least. Uh, well, I know, I I know we did. I just I don't know if what I'm remembering is that or something else. Um, we need to take the kids to Yellowstone. And yeah. oh my gosh, we have a friend, and you haven't been to Montana yet. We have a friend yeah. from high school who runs um, fly oh, fishing sure. and and different kind of guiding. His dad, stuff. his dad. You know when we had that teacher in grade school that changed your life, Mr. Moore, Tom Moore, Quincy, Illinois. This guy, because I was basically going to go to jail when I was probably in fifth grade. He's like, you got a choice, man. You can straighten yourself out or not. He took his time to really help me. And it's funny because I, I tell the story every time. I tell this, even to the same in my classes, like you will have people that change your life. And so I talked about him for years and I would see his wife randomly back home when I go visit. And so I would tell him, she's like, yes, Mark, I know. I will tell him, like, no, I have to tell you again how what a difference he's made, what I've done with my life because he really made a big difference. That's why those nurses, those supply chain people, you're making a difference in people's lives. You might not think it, but you are. You're helping people. And so I always made sure I would see when I see his wife, I would tell her. And so I would say probably, I think Liam was a baby. So that had been like seven years ago. I actually saw him again in person. And I was like, I need to tell you. He's like, I know my wife has told me many times. I'm like, no, you're here now. I'm like, I'm a professor. I want to hug you. I'm a, I'm a professor at, a, at the University of Illinois, one of the best schools in the entire country. 
and it's because of you and I want to say thank you for that because it makes a difference. So if there's people in your life that have done that, make sure you tell them that. Like, and he, I can see he, he teared never, up a little bit. Never so. let an it, opportunity to help go by. To, you can to help people help Give them, somebody a good moment. And, yeah. you know, like I'm the weirdo that does that to people in, in stores and whatever. Gosh, your hair is really beautiful. Or, you know what? Those shoes are amazing. Or you, that outfit is just kicking. You know, I, I tell people things like that all the time. Um, and part of that is having lived in the South because you strike up conversations with everyone in the South. Yeah. And up here, it's not quite the same way. Um, they're more reserved in things. I really think that it has to do with weather. Warmer places, people are warmer. Yeah. Cooler places, you're inside and you're not as, you know, whatever. Yeah. So um, that's it. Go on. You want to talk. So I think Megan Morris makes a fantastic point. Any restaurant that has 90 plus menu options <laughs> that is not named uh, Cheesecake Factory will not be good. <laughs> this is true because there's too much. You need to be able to focus on I stuff. Remember, I really love the Cheesecake Factory. Uh, people, I've never been. People say it's I've great. Been once. So it it's fun. like the, it's the old saying. Jack of all trades, master, master of nothing. Of you want to go to a master when you're eating, so so do that. Uh, there's some other stuff there. Mr. Means to travel. In Spain, grab a bocadillo de tortilla española um, for lunch. Great and cheap, yeah. And that's one of the things is I know, like, the lunch menus, the lunch specials really are a big deal in Europe. You can really save a lot, especially in places like Spain and France, where there's, like, legit lunch menus that are fantastic. Gallivanting gals, if you want to join Walder's World. So if you look below when you're watching, you'll see a join button. And you can click on that and it'll tell you how you can join and become a YouTube member. If you want to go on Patreon, you go to patreon.com, which is down here, and patreon.com slash Walter's World. You can find out how you can go to a Patreon on Patreon. And so you can you can have some stuff there. Because we have some extra bonus stuff, videos, and, and Patreon, you get some free stuff there. And usually we send postcards when we travel, but we've been stuck at home for two months now. So Ooh, no postcards. I'm gonna just I'm just gonna send out we'll old send postcards like, hey, from Champagne to the quarantine, but it's from Iguazu Falls. I'll just take pictures and make them into <laughs> into those. Um so oh Miss Miss Ellie Jelly Belly, please tell us where you got your Marie Antoinette cow penny. It's Moori Antoinette, <laughs> just so you know. Um I bought that from I'm gonna give you the, the artist's name. Buenos Aires, Argentina, okay. right Pull in that up. What? what? Yeah, no. Buenos, Buenos Aires. Aires. Yeah, no. Buenos Aires. Argentina. There's a festival. It's on the weekends. They have. Where is that? No, it's right outside the Recoleta Cemetery. Okay, that's what I was trying to get. Sorry. Yeah. Listen, I'm that's trying the to Recoleta do the Cemetery. things. The artist's name is Gustavo Dalton Correa, um, and he has a bunch of different ones. I was. Yeah, reading. I mean, he had it for like all kinds of famous people. It's pretty hilarious. <laughs> but and the is dude crazy. is like. The Argentina Salvador Dali. He's freaking crazy. He is, he is the Argentine uh, Salvador Dali. He's, he's like a performance artist in life and then an artist on the but side. He's he was really nice and he's very talented. The fact that he does, you know, how he takes Renaissance paintings. This is actually one of, um, it was La Contessa. It's a... Um, I forgot the original artist. Oh, wait. If you don't know what we're talking <laughs> about, go onto our YouTube channel and watch the, um, uh, the I lost, the, where video. I lost 50 pounds in the last year. So you have an idea. That'll um, tell you. Anyway, he is, he's an incredible artist. He does this wild and crazy, you know, genre of, of you know, personifying cows. But his, like, his... His technique is good. I'm just sitting here looking at it. Yeah, the her. guy makes some good. He, um, he's a good. He's you know a what I'm artist. doing this week? Because I've been putting it off forever and ever. I've, I've painted a little um, small plaque. It's just a little canvas and I've painted it gold. And I'm practicing writing um, with calligraphy and I'm going to write Marie Antoinette. And then I will put Gustavo's name down there and then, you know, by Gustavo and then like 2000 and whatever. And then it will have a quote, and it will say, "Eat more chicken," <laughs> or "Let them eat more chicken." Let like, them eat chicken. Let them eat cake, let but them let eat them eat chicken. more chicken because I'm a nut. Yeah. Okay. Max Olson, thank you very much for the super chat, my friend. We appreciate it. You got a question? Shoot it up to us. Um, um, let's see, Sam F W. Best place for Argentinian beef? Anywhere in Argentina, you'll do well. But I will tell you, in Argentina, they like their meat well done. I would ask for a medium and it would become well done. So I eventually I was like, no, todavía está vivo. It's still alive. And they're like, oh, so it's still alive. Got me to like medium rare. Just so you know. 
Okay, yeah. so have a heads up for that. They do. Hey, Darian, Germany Travel Personal Guide. Our friend Darian is on. Hey, buddy. I feel like I haven't seen you in a minute. So I know it's been. Well, we, we chat sometimes. So Dizzy Lizard. Hey, wish I could become a member, but I'm trying to do the Dave Ramsey thing right now, paying off bills and also save for travel. That's we what completely you do. understand, and we appreciate you coming on here and watching the live feeds chatting watching the videos let those commercials play through we're, we're totally happy with that so thank you so much for your support and we understand and that's why we still do the live feeds and we like for everyone and we still have our videos out for everybody because not everybody can do the the memberships and stuff like that and we appreciate everybody so so don't feel bad <laughs> megan morris cheesecake factory isn't fresh food i, I do like cheesecake i've never been just has never been too I've so been. oh there's chris bates no, chris bates i'm sorry me. did you see that no i so, said i've been to the cheesecake factory well, that, and i didn't really like it okay well, i heard no, that I but i meant chris, chris bates hi chris so thank hi chris you. bates thank you very much for the super chat we did not see this because again what we see and what you see is different so chris bates you guys make a difference love you love your positivity thank you thanks Here's my Starbucks money since I can't go. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. We appreciate it, my friend. Um, and, and that's the thing is, is, is the Starbucks money, it, it's kind of funny. It, it does that. You're saving money. You are saving money, but you spend it on us. But we appreciate you spending it on us. That's very nice of you. Uh, but, but one of the things, this is one thing that I've seen is a lot of the travel bloggers now, like, where are you going to go? And Twitter, like, where are you going to go when this is over? Where are you going to go when this is over? But the thing is, even though there's a, they, the government has signed a package to give people some money back and stuff like that, I have to tell people, you need to like look at your budget to make sure you can afford to travel because, I mean, I'm lucky, we're lucky because I have a job that, a day, that job. a day job that is still because going, it, it hasn't had been just cut off. been Walter's world? We, we'd be broke, we wouldn't have anything. Like we're, I mean, it's, we had written like $5 we'd be a day. Box like, up our own. stuff and moving back home with our parents. Yeah. So, and as much as I love my mom and dad and his mom and dad, we we've, we've actually lived with them for a summer or two and yeah. I don't want to do it again. Just I love it. I would live with you, Mom. But I don't know if we get to deal with dad and his Ev, CNBC. The, the, thing. I can't handle what is that man's name that yells Kramer, on the TV? Kramer. Oh, God, Jim I can't Kramer. Do that. I'm sorry. So um Oh anyway. so yeah, so Avery Casper, what's your favorite part of California? San Diego. I love San Diego. That place is awesome. Love carne asada fries. My buddy Spencer Pablo. Love him. He's awesome. It lives there. Parts <laughs> Random, thank you very much for the super chat. Please ask a question. Thank oh, you. Thanks for the entertaining hour. I'm glad we can entertain. Oh, we're at, wow, we're at two and a half hours now. I'm glad we can do this. It's been really nice. Um, we're we're going to go for a little bit longer. Don't worry. Megan Morris, contribution to a new bottle of Woodford sweet. Reserve. Thank you. Thank you. Because I was still. When we can leave the house to yes, buy one. Because I was looking for the new bottle, and there isn't a new bottle. There is only that Won't little you? tiny thing. That's fine. We'll get um, there eventually. M. Nickerson, what does a Walters argument look like? Any epic fights wipe out a video? <laughs> I don't no, know I film by myself in the morning, so it kind of eliminates a lot of the issues <laughs> right there. Um, there were oh, wait, 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 wait. Fight. So I, I'm working on the, the Love and Hates of Kyoto. And so Jocelyn, whenever it's like a movie camera one, Jocelyn is holding the camera. Do you know how hard it is? Look at it. It is hard to sit here. Here's his phone. Let's just sit here like this. And he's talking and he's talking and he's talking. He never shuts up. And he's talking and my arms are getting tired because really you can't just stand here like this where it's easy. It has to be like some like janky like thing like I don't this. make you do janky stuff. Whatever. You're like, no, move it this way, move it that way. And I'm like, for like five minutes. No, like, she's like, oh, it's. It's so heavy. You know what I'm going to do? It, well, granted, Here's that video was when I had the S7, so it was way heavier. It was I, like No, I have to ounces. do it with the normal camera, like an actual... You like, never have to do it. Okay, occasionally, okay, occasionally do it. Full roar. And this is what a Walters <laughs> argument looks like. See, even, the, so, even, even Caleb... Oh, oh, what was that for? <laughs> so, <laughs> you know what's going to happen? I'm going to make a video. I'm going to make you hold it. And I will, and then I will sit there, like, mm -hmm. I will sit there and not complain because uh -huh. I'm just happy you're making videos. And that isometric, people, is, that isolation want... of the triceps Wait, where is, it? Where is, is it? not going to hurt anything. And it? that's why I have our new gimbal where we can put the phone in and it'll hold it still so I can go like this. And if I shake, it'll work. So thank you, members and patrons. Another thing we picked up 
um, because a lot of, too many of our amazing. B roll. And for those of you that are like, wait, I haven't seen that improvement in your videos yet. It's because we filmed a lot of stuff. So from new stuff, we'll have some more of this stuff coming. I'm getting tired. All right, all right. I love you. Thank you. Are you going to sit up with everybody? Well, we've been on for two and a half hours. We can we can answer some more questions. Okay. So there's a parts friend. I'm glad we could help. Um, oh, wait, we jumped around. Sorry. Uh, uh, Nader1 has been asked a lot of questions. I have not had a chance to talk about it. Okay, so Nader1, would you skip a lag, a flight to save money, meaning fly to Denver with a layover in Austin to save money? Oh, you mean like the people that will like fly one to cut out? I try not to do that, um, especially with like Delta since I fly with them so much because I don't want to get a, kind of a bad reputation. But you can save a lot of money. But if you're going to do that, make sure it's only a one way and you're going to stop because what happens is if let's say you have, let's say you buy a, you know, Chicago, Denver, Utah, and you only go to Denver. Well, your return flight, that will be canceled because you didn't do that last flight. Excuse me, this happened to me. I was flying with um, Delta back to Minneapolis years ago to see my brother. And I had a flight from Germany to Minneapolis, Minneapolis to St. Louis, and then my return was St. Louis, Minneapolis to, to Germany. And when I got the ticket, when I flew into Minneapolis, I'm like, you know what, I should probably tell them I'm not gonna do the rest of the trip. So I got my stuff, I'm like, hey, I went to the Delta H, and I'm like, hey, my brother lives here, so I'm just gonna stay here. I'm not gonna do the St. Louis part, but I'm still gonna fly back from St. Louis. She's like, oh, thank you for telling us, because if you didn't tell us, we would cancel the rest of your flight. So you gotta be careful with that. Um, Karen Mass. Karen, I'm getting sleepy. Karen Mack asks, what are your favorite things to eat in Normandy? Oysters. They have, I, I love mm -hmm. Norman oysters. And they got ton, and the, the, what are the, the, what are the little cakes? Oh, they uh, do have those little cakes. I don't eat cakes. We actually, we have a video on what to eat in Normandy. Go put, what yeah. to eat in Normandy, there Walter's World. We've got all the stuff there. The so you'll cider. have, you have the cider. You don't do the wine there. You have yeah. the cider. So you yeah. have that. So, okay, um, yeah, so Patty, we have told you we have not been to Thailand. I've answered that quite a few times on here. Why, she um, keeps missing it. She, I know, so Patty Forsman, we have not been. <laughs> we will go there, and we will. When, we don't know yet because everything's up in the air, but it is part of our plan to get there, okay? Sam FW asked, do you still do touristy stuff sometimes? Oh, yeah. hell yeah! <laughs> That's the thing is some people are like, oh, we're not going to do tourist stuff. I'm like, why not? There, there's a reason why it's tourist stuff because we're seeing. So it's we still, still do good. that. good. I mean, it, it it might be overrun with people, but that doesn't mean that it's not worthwhile. Yeah. yeah. There's a reason why all the tourists go there. Yeah. Matt's what I am. Hey, in Melbourne. Good to see you, buddy. Um, hope you're doing well. We're plan The original plan was to be there next May, June in uh, Australia. You, so we haven't don't know where to go yet. So you have that? You need to use your gimbal. Yes, Terry, we will get well, she there. She said she's done it too, and she knows what that's like. Um, it is hard to hold. <laughs> Jorge, uh, you guys are awesome. What? Thanks, buddy. Oh, it just jumped. Where what? Dang, yeah. Nabbit. It was by Terry. Oh, there it is. What? What has been your scariest experience during a flight? I flew the, through the remnants of a hurricane once, and we dropped. I have no idea how many hundred feet. Um, but I, I mean, the entire plane was praying, like, just, I, it was, that was really frightening. Yeah. Oh, and then that time over the Swiss Alps. Yeah, but that was fine. There was no, the Italian there. Alps. So for me, um, I was flying back from the Canary Islands. Uh, it was Christmas day, I think in 1999, flying back with my friend and we, and there was a hurricane actually going through Europe. We flew over and we dropped 4,000 meters. And we went back up and dropped 4,000 meters. meters. I mean, we, uh, dude, it was bad. It was really bad. Like, we went, Whoom! and then it, like, caught itself, and then we fell again. I don't know. That's what they told us. So it was probably less than that. They like to make it over. But, I mean, we were all freaked out. But the thing was, it was one of those, like, oh, hey, it was like, you know, go for a week to the Canary Islands, and we'll pay. And so it was, like, one of those cheap flights things. And the thing is, like, oh, everything's included. So there was these drunk German couple on there. And they were like, oh, wait, we paid for alcohol. We want our alcohol now. And they were like wanting to fight the flight attendants. We were all like locked down, praying for our lives. 
And that I'd only been in Germany about six months, so my my German wasn't super great. But I'm like, listen to them talking when we landed in Cologne. They're like, if you want to take the train back, we will pay for that. It's okay. And like they had like a 10 minute long German chat. And then I'm like, wait a minute, I think we could get off the plane. And then they said, there's gonna be a lot of turbulence in English. And then they shut the door like, oh, it's too late. You can't leave. I'm like, oh, if I would have known. Hang on, there's something there. Um, Michael Mon, good night. Thanks for joining us. Night, buddy. Um, Mike Johnson, hello from Little Rock. This is the first YouTube travel info channel that I have ever watched. Oh, well, Mike, thanks for I'm being here. I'm glad man. we could be it. I know, and I'm sorry that we're at two hours and 30 minutes of it, and we're about to finish up when you finally get on. I'm sorry, yeah. man. We'll try to get a few que few more questions in. Oh, the fight over the Japanese toilet. I know. That's always yeah. going to be a fight until I get one. <laughs> so, Mr. Means of Travel, yes, that is a DJI gimbal. It is. And thanks to uh, my buddy, Mark Finley, for pointing it out to me. Um, <clears throat> Sounds like an, uh, an episode of Walter's House. Five things you will love and hate about living in the Walter's House. Well, right now, yeah. the Walter's House is in disarray. <laughs> yeah. Read my blog. <laughs> That'll tell you everything you need to know. <laughs> so, James Land asks, what's the best way to cook mussels? So... I don't know if I can say the best way to cook mussels, but I will say oh. this. When you go to Brussels or you That's go anywhere awesome. in Belgium, they'll have like, oh, Provincial and blah, blah, blah. You want to get it cooked in beer because it gives the cleanest, best flavor with your mussels. Just get the beer and frites, fries, and get the beer one. Because otherwise, you get so much other stuff in there. You're like but fighting through the onions and fighting there. through the other stuff to get to the mussels. For just getting the mussels I, and going. I liked the one that had a little bit of garlic in there. Um, King... Platinum ice. Yeah, I answered your question about um, fashion trends in Amsterdam for, for men. So clean cut, nice t-shirts, um, flat sort of shoes like my Vans, um, skinny jeans. The, uh, the guy that cut my hair, I noticed that he had last summer, um, he had shorts on, but he rolled them up. Not like tight rolled, but he rolled them up. Um, but they tend to wear like, you know, Body skimming sort of things, yeah. and and they're le it's le like right now like I, a nice the same thing is the clothes there were closer to U.S. clothes than like Italy or Spain or Portugal. But their colors like yeah. lots of pinks and blues and yellows, like brighter yeah. but not bright, like pastelly. But yeah, okay. Francis, thank you very <laughs> thank much you. for the super chat. Did you try horse and Verona? Yes, I've had it many times. One of her old food videos from way way oh, back in the gosh, day. Oh my gosh, that was. Really what, long yeah, ago. was actually eating the 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 horse there. It wasn't bad. The boys actually liked it when it was like dried and shredded. Um, that was pretty good. They liked that when we had that one there. So Joss and architectural history okay. videos. I've been trying to get her some architectural history um, videos. So okay, that. so here's the thing about architectural history videos. I hate trolls. <laughs> Um, I am, I am, okay. I am, well, I am concerned that if I mispronounce something or I say, you know, uh, like yeah, a trefoil window sometimes. instead of a trefoil or vice versa, I, I just don't want to go through the hell of it. But Sensei is teaching you this, this book, Virginia and Lee McAllister's A Field Guide to American Houses is one that amazing is a book. book. That is a good book. Um, when we were looking to build our house, she was showing me stuff from here. Yeah, I mean, we can't do the things that are in this. But, so it's a field guide to American houses, but so many of the things come from different places, and it'll talk about that. This is probably, if you want to get into architectural history, this is the best primer I can give you. There you go. Yeah. So Natasha T, would Russia be a safe to go to for college grads trip with four friends? I've been dying to go. If you stick to St. Petersburg or Moscow, you'll be fine. Mm -hmm. um, other places, I'd be a little more ahead. It just depends who's all going. Um, Russia's not as bad as people say. Um, it's gets, really It gets not. a bad rap, but it is pretty nice. Oh, all what our is stuff that? is jumping off. Someone said we're lagging and we got some issues there. Um, best place for schnitzel in Germany, anywhere. Get the Jaeger schnitzel. It's with a uh, mushroom cream sauce. That is oh, my favorite. Oh, it's really good, too. So we have that. So mm. it seems like we're lagging, so we're probably going to call it a day for a bit. A couple other things. Um, Budapest <laughs> is an amazing place. Very yes. cool. Megan, Very inexpensive. Really is. So James Land, my wife wants to know if y'all are always this nice. <laughs> <laughs> I try to be. time. You can ask my students if they think that, but I try to be, so we have that. Uh, listen, everyone has their moments, and but generally speaking, I, I think... I think we're nice people. 
And I think we try to be positive, and I always try to be positive. You try to be positive. Yeah. And, and, and the thing is, in a time like this, it's tough to be positive. But I, I think it's our part Calimera. to really help people to, to find the brighter side in life. So I hope you all can find the brighter side in your days. Because I know we all are going through a lot right now. And that's why I'm glad we can do these live feeds every Wednesday night at 8 p.m. And we started at like 7.30 tonight, and it's now 10.00. And we'll be back Saturday morning at 9 a.m. Um, and we're going to be doing this through April. Uh, so you have that. So I'm glad we can be there to make some kind of normality for people. Um, I cannot promise I will be drinking this much liquor on Saturday morning. Because we don't have any orange juice. Do we? From Moses? I don't I think I might have a frozen can. It might have been in there for about six months, but whatever. What? Hey, it's frozen. It's fine. So, uh -huh. but we'll be back on Saturday for this. By the way, um, frozen orange juice is really tasty if you just eat it from the can. I used to do that. That's why I bought it because I loved that when I was a kid. See, <laughs> we're all juice. learning stuff today. Isn't that nice? Oh, all right. I'm anyway, tired. All right. We got to go. We love you Good all. Night, Thank everybody. you so much. Stay I'm glad safe. you could all stay for two and a half hours with us. Y'all are awesome. We love you all. Thank you so much. Thanks for being Wish part all the of best. our tribe. If you're, if you're a nurse, a doctor, if you're helping with the supply chain, you're stocking shelves, you're, you're doing whatever your family, just try to homeschool. Thank you. Anything. Thank you. We're Teachers, all fine together. Thank you. thank you, everybody. Wish you all the best. Thank you, Francis, for all the love. And <laughs> everybody else. We wish you all the best. Good night, everyone. And we'll see you on Saturday. So Saturday, we'll have another live feed, and we'll have a normal travel video as well. So a double, double, double fun on that day. So. See y'all later. Bye.